like my family to this day still call me gig. So like right, I'm completely sense, comfortable sense. with just people calling me gigak or gant. If my parents call me anime, man, I would, think, <laughs> I would think I was like disowned or something. <laughs> if you call me the anime zone on the other hand, <laughs> that now we got a problem. <laughs> What's up, you eccentric, etchy enthusiast? Welcome back to another episode of the Trash Days Podcast. That was too terrible. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Awful. I'm so sorry. Look, I, it's going to be a thing from now on, okay? You guys have to just brace yourselves every three episodes because I'm always going to open with something like that, okay? Maylene, our is producer, it? stop making noise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a professional production. You ruined my intro. God Excuse damn it. Excuse me, Maylene. I thought we were we God. have professionalism trash on this. Trash production on this Trash Days Podcast. Know, right? Jesus Christ. Well, welcome to another episode. So trash taste where we talk about a trash taste in anime and everything else in the world. I'm your host, Joey. Wait, is that our intro now? Is yeah, that I, I guess. I'm, wow. My God, that was like, that That went from what the fuck are you saying to, man, this is a smooth ass intro. What, what? We didn't agree on any of this. I'm a professional after all. I'm your host for today, Joey. And as always joining me are the boys, Gaunt and Connor. Hey guys. No nickname? No, I know. Okay. 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 Well, well, we're, we're, we're gonna roll it I'm we're the gonna... Hinty Kid and this okay. is Gig UK Arizona and the 93%. Oh, nice. All right. All right. All right. You, you guys on the subreddit have just been going crazy with those memes right now. I mean, and we like, don't pick the nicknames. They pick the nicknames exactly. at the end of the day, right? Exactly. So uh, yeah, guys, what are we gonna talk about today? Oh wait, you were thinking about something. All right. I, I we watched, wanted to talk about you. Uh, you were thinking something spicy to yeah. talk about. <laughs> oh, so we can talk about YouTube, but I think before we do that, mm. I watched Perfect Blue recently. <gasps> oh! You broke your Satoshi so, okay. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud okay. of you. I'm proud of you. Unlike Gone, right? Where if we bring up a show that you're like, yeah, you should watch it, Gone's going to be like, Woof. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I actually started watching Dodo Head Dodo. Did you actually? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, everyone's so, breaking just, the cherry. I just thought because of the Full Metal Alchemist <laughs> that, curse. They're you know? not going to know that because that was on the episode where we recorded an episode and yeah, then the Dota audio Dota. just yeah. wasn't recording, apparently. Yeah, it's the lost episode you'll the never lost, get to see. Did yeah. like a 10 minute speech on why Dodo Head Dodo is good and you should watch it. Yeah. Um, but I, but no, yeah. About, oh, I was Perfect sure. Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, mean, did, yeah. how did you find it? It was amazing. Yeah, like, right? I, okay, I knew it was going to be good, right? Yeah. Like, everything I've seen of it and, and the amount of works that it's inspired, obviously it was going to be good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was kind of not ready for what I was going to watch. <laughs> no, no yeah. one knew it was when a they lot. watch it. Like, it yeah. was a lot. Yeah, yeah. Some of the scenes were pretty oof. Um, yeah, like, how how do you feel watching it today? Like, because this came out in, I think, 1995? Something like something that. Something like that. It's which, uh, 1995, 1997, it came out in the it's 90s. It's at least 20 years old. Yeah. 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 How do you feel it ha is now watching it for the first time? in today's climate. It's really creepy being like an online personality watching a story about right. how an yeah. online personality is And that's like, what's scary about it, right? Yeah, is that yeah, yeah. the themes in that are just as prevalent today as it was back then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If not worse, I feel. No, no, I, right? I feel like it's more relevant today over 20 years later oh, yeah. than it was when it came uh, out. Do you want to explain quickly what the story is? Cause like, it's been a while since I oh watched it. Oh my God, it. I mean, that's hard. <laughs> it's, it's a mind fuck, it's, it's horror, but it's essentially there's this girl who is an idol. She then quits uh, becoming an idol to pursue a uh, career in film acting. But then that's also like a side plot, I guess, really. Mm, but yeah. there's a guy who is obsessed with her. And the whole point of the story is that he is obsessed with the image of the celebrity, not the actual personality of the celebrity. Yeah. And then it's kind of a story about how much as an online personality or a, fa or a celebrity, how much of your public persona do you own and how is, much of that do you have control over? Yeah, is it is it actually you? Who Who is yeah, the real you? Is, is, it, is it who you perceive yourself yeah. as online or is it who you are as a person? And the fact that this came out in the 90s, where- It's way, way ahead of its time. Like what the fuck, right? It predicted so much about how social media would work and our perceptions of like online celebrities and how people are viewed yeah. online. And just like Satoshi Kon's like cinematography is just yeah. so out of this world. I love that scene. The one scene I vividly remember is like when the stalker guy is at like the main character's like concert. Yeah. And he just holds his hand up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was such a good shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, that is just so, so good because it's just such good imagery. Yeah. Right. He was ugly as fuck. Oh yeah. No, no. He looked like a human beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, so he's the bad guy. This, this, boy, <laughs> this boy was the OG ugly bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Every ugly bastard was based off that. No, no kidding. I, it was amazing. Like it was, it, I feel like it's, again, like you said, it's so relevant at this time. And I think yeah. anyone, I think it's more relevant now than it was almost when it came out. Mm. And I the guess. way the way he pulled it off as well, because oh, yeah. it, it wasn't just a simple story. It was weaved in with just pure top class filmmaking. Oh, like yeah. was, was like there was there was a point 
when I, I you, you don't notice the transition, but it transitions into, okay, what's real? What's like mm. her imagination? Yeah. What's, what's part of the film? Because one of the genius parts of this story story is that because she's like an actress as well. They use the world of the acting. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they use the world of the acting and like the filmmaking to like blend into her real life. So you don't know which scenes are like really yeah. happening and mm. which scenes are just being acted. And it's, it fucks with your mind. Yeah, cause it's like so three much. worlds, right? Cause yeah. there's the, the real world, the acting world, and then the, the stuff that she's seeing in her head. Yeah, mm -hmm. And it's so hard trying to like unwind all that and yeah. trying to figure out what's what. But then I guess, almost a certain extent, you're not supposed to. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to just be confused. Yeah, it's the, the fact that you're it's so to, yeah. blurry is right. what's like showing you why this whole thing is so it's, scary because yeah. you don't even know watching yeah. what is real and what is not real, right? Yeah. And, and I feel a lot of that kind of like theming in Satoshi Kon's movies really transition over to his later stuff. Like, did you ever watch Paprika? I yeah, I did, I, I did. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, Paprika, I, I mean, for those of you who don't know, it's literally My anime spice. Inception. <laughs> I mean, it's totally different because uh, it's like Inception is like a heist movie in a dream. Mm. Satoshi, in, like Paprika is like on a on a base level. Yeah, they're both about dreams, mm. but Paprika is like ten times more imaginative in like mm. how it approaches its visuals when when in, like they're in the dream world. Right? right, and that and how he shows the dream world versus the real world is yeah. very much like in Perfect Blue, where you don't realize, oh, we're in a dream world now, or yeah. oh, we're back to reality, and it it's. He does that so seamlessly through his scenes. It's, yeah. it's really incredible. Yeah, I, th I think Perfect Blue is my favorite Satoshi Kon movie. Uh, close second is Millennium Actress. Millennium Actress, I, yeah. I, I saw a lot of people who said that it was his best work. Yeah, yeah. because I, th I think he took a lot of elements from Perfect Blue in terms of like, so Millennium Actress isn't a mind fuck, mm. but it basically tells the story of this girl through film, basically. Mm. So okay. they they, I, th I think she was, yeah, she, I've got, she, uh, the name's Millennium Actress. She's, she's an actress. She's was, an actress. I was like, was she an actress? I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> of, course, of course she was. Damn. Millennium <laughs> Farmer. <laughs> she was a farmer. Yeah, but like they, they show this woman's whole life story yeah. just through just through various films that she shot or maybe she, she didn't shoot them but mm. it's just such again such a seamless transition between uh real life or the the canon real life of the movie and a movie in the in a movie mm. if that yeah. makes sense it, it's good because i mean it, i also feel like because the position we're in it was like a, a weird uncomfortable uh it was the unca oh. uncanny valley, right? Some parts mm. were a little bit too close. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, cause obviously there's the personality that we show in our videos, right? And then there's yeah. our own personality. Like I, I don't have to deal with it too much cause I feel like I'm, I'm pretty close to what I am in real life. I on think all three of us are. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I definitely have some friends who are YouTubers who like <laughs> are very, very different to how they're perceived. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm, yeah. Sure, I'm sure Emily won't let me say. Emma Richu, she's like a, uh, story time animator, right? Mm. right? Very like, very like this, this image of like pure, right? Like, and, <laughs> and like everyone, everyone thinks that she's like a Disney character, right? Yeah, but yeah. like you hang out with her, she's a normal person, right? And I mean, I, if you follow her on Twitter, you yeah, see yeah, it, right, uh, right. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? Is that I know she gets stressed out with it more than most, and she's told me a few times that she's like, I wish people would just stop treating me like a Disney character. Yeah, like, <laughs> like people won't let her like, right. say things because yeah. when when she says things like, oh, you know, that are a little crude, maybe. Yeah, she gets a lot of comments being like, this is not how you're supposed to act. That's it's, not you. People, yeah, people literally <laughs> tell her you shouldn't act this way. This is not how you're supposed to act. Like, and it's weird because it's like, I don't have to deal with that. If I do yeah. whatever the fuck I want, and people are like, haha, funny, you know, yeah, teehee. But like, it was, it's really creepy seeing people it, it was weird force for me. this thing onto her. Yeah, it was really weird for me because I met Emily IRL before I saw any of her YouTube mm -hmm. stuff. So it was. When me watching her videos, it was kind of a reverse shock for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, was yeah. like, "Wow, you're so you're so pure." No, you know? not, not to say that Emily is like crazy or anything. She's just a normal no, person. No, no, right? no, 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 no. Like, but I but haven't met her personally. People, but people are more dimensional than a Disney persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. She doesn't even try and put that on herself, right? That's just no. because you know. That's just how the audience. That's how the audience does it's, it. it's funny because uh, Sydney or sits right, my right. yeah, she has like the opposite problem where people come to me and they're like, "Why, why is Sydney acting so hyperactive?" and so loud in her, in her videos. And I'm like, the big difference between Sydney in her videos and Sydney in real life is that Sydney in her, in her videos has a volume button. Like, <laughs> it's true. like, like I, I can physically turn her down in when she's in a video. I can't physically turn her down in, in real life. You can, you can put like a normalization. On her yeah. voice. Can't do that in real life. Yeah. Shit, that shit peaks. You can't put a limiter on her voice. Yeah, yeah and it's just, 
it was really uncomfortable. Like I said, it was uncomfortable at times. It's really like unnerving. And again, like if if you take away anything from this, you should watch Perfect Blue. If yeah. you consume any form of online content. Did you watch uh, Requiem for a Dream? Have you seen no, that movie? No, I haven't, no. Or, or Black of, Swan? Uh, or Black Swan. Uh, I saw a bit of Black Swan, I got really bored and I turned it yeah, off. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, both of those movies are heavily, heavily influenced. Yeah, by yeah, Black I Black saw yeah. that Black Swan was heavily inspired. It's, yeah. it's funny that you fell asleep during that one because Black Swan is basically the same Storyline. I, I think I was yeah. on a plane, and you know, sometimes you're in a mood where you're like, I don't want to watch a movie, but <laughs> what else can I do? Yeah. And I think I put Black Swan on. I was like, it was not the right environment to watch Black Swan. <laughs> yeah. like, Very dark. A room, 10 yeah. inch LCD I don't know. in those shitty packed nuts, you know. <laughs> I, have, I have this genre I like to call plane movies, yeah. where it's like movies you would never, ever watch, but when you're on a plane, you're like, Every yeah. Jason Statham movie, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, Every Mission Impossible. I'm pretty sure his his career and The Rock's career are slow, so solely being funded by planes. <laughs> like no one. Why else would you watch that fucking shark movie that Jason Statham was in? Where he, what shark movie? Where he just the whole movie was him fighting a shark. What? What was the movie called? Are you serious? Is this, is this, is this, this a movie? The, it's on the screen right now. Sharknado is, 4. <laughs> it's just a movie and I, I can't describe any of it to you. It's just the whole thing was just this really Jason cheesy. Statham versus Jason, the shark. It's like, imagine <laughs> imagine Jaws on steroids and that was like the whole movie. It was oh, so bad. Oh, was it called like Megalon? That was like something? Me, mega something. Me, no, uh, mega Chad. Mega, <laughs> mega, mega, mega Chad. Chad. Jason Statham <laughs> is Mega Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just, just, just too much fucking, oh my God, so many movies. But yeah, yeah. Jason Statham movie. Yeah, no, I agree with the airplane movies thing i've i've seen more movies on planes than i think i have on, in like cinemas and my own room yeah I, I feel bad for anything i watch on a plane because i feel like it automatically loses two points out of ten right. just because <laughs> yeah. i watch it on a plane no no you know no, what, what i mean? mean like i never have a positive memory of binge but watching a series sometimes sometimes i just want to fucking watch some shitty thing like yeah have you yeah, ever yeah. had like before a plane like you you download something you actually want to watch yeah like an anime or watch. a series of manga and you're like uh, I don't really feel like watching it. Let me watch this shitty five out of 10 <laughs> show that's or movie that I would never watch under any other circumstances. Mine's even worse because I go on a plane being like, okay, I ha I can work on a script because I have my laptop. I, I can, you like, can play work on a plane? No. Okay. <laughs> I, I plan to every single time. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like work on a script or I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna finish it while I'm on this 10 hour flight to the yeah. US. But instead, no, I'm gonna watch this really crap documentary about this topic that I just do not care Dude, about, but because you're forced yeah. to watch it, by yeah. the end of it, I'm just like, I, you know, that was very informative. <laughs> I, I learned a lot. I'm glad I watched that. People looking like work on planes. I don't know how they can do it. I can, you're, do, you're it on, I can do it on domestic flights. Oh, I can't. It's no, a, I can't, you're a I fucking madman. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you have to be a sociopath. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm a sociopath. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> it's weird, right? Because with airplane movies, as you said, yeah. yeah. It, as you said, like it's always like two points lower than if you were to watch it. Because it's not a comfortable viewing right? experience. No, it's you not. Which is not. all the more reason why I want to rewatch Makia because I watched Makia on a flight. The fuck is Makia? You know I, would, I would never watch an anime film oh. that I want to watch on a flight. Yeah. I, I, I remember hearing people <laughs> watching your name when it was like out in theaters yeah. and the only chance they had to watch it was, was on, on the flight. flight. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I feel so sorry for you. Why? I know. I, and like, that's the exact same experience I had with Makia because right. I missed it in the cinemas uh, before I went yeah. to the US, but it was on my flight to the US. So I was like, perfect. I could finally watch it. Yeah. But in my head, I was like, oh no, I have to watch it on this tiny screen with these <laughs> crappy ass headphones that I had because I didn't bring my proper headphones, but I watched it on the flight. Man, I cried like a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Which makes me more, like it makes me more inclined to go watch it on like a big screen. Now. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I know if I watched it on the big screen, I would be crying even more like you a just, bitch. You just get a text from like row three, I, I seat C that's like, why are you crying so damn loud? <laughs> like that meme template, you know? <laughs> like, but yeah, if you, if you don't know, do you know Makia? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know no Makia. Okay, so Makia is. is this movie that was, it wasn't advertised anywhere, was no, it? No, 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 it was it was very works. under the radar. I think it was by PA, was it by PA Works? No. What it's not it PA about? Works, it was written and directed by Okada Mari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what is it about? Uh, she, she did um, Anohana. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. She's basically known as the anime writer who is known for like all those series making that you cry. cry. Yeah, she's like the master of making you cry. And Makia yeah. was the movie that, it was her first directing debut. But the mm. thing is, it wasn't advertised anywhere. Like at, even in Japan, it wasn't advertised anywhere. And I only found out about it because my friend Nobby let yeah. me know about it. But 
he let me know like two days before it was gone from the cinema. So I was like, cool, <laughs> I guess I can't watch that. But then it was on the flight and yeah. I, 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 but that's the thing, right? Like when you watch something that's really funny or that very emotional on a plane, yeah. you can't just burst out. Yeah, you can, no. just fucking cry. I can't in the, do I that. Can't I can't do that. Seat. Dude, I, 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 I've cried on a plane. I can't, so I, I was can't literally do doing like a, like this, like trying to hold in my, <laughs> my teeth. They're like, what do you want, chicken or beef? <laughs> <laughs> but, and I didn't want this like white guy sitting next to me to think like, what the f This guy's crying until like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? But yeah. What's, what's like the riskiest thing you've ever watched in the flight? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean risky? Well, I don't know. I saw no. a guy on a plane watching porn one time. <laughs> I, I thought that was impressive. I remember the first time I like watched prison school on a flight, that was, that was that How was the like. How fuck did you do that? I, I was just like, okay, I really want to watch Prison School. I downloaded it. You should it. probably explain how bad Prison School. Okay, is. Prison so Prison, prison School is like before there was interspecies reviewers. Basically, there was like Prison School. For <laughs> it's, how, it's one step away from hentai. Yeah, like, for yeah. like how far you could push etchy. I mean, there's there's a scene where like I think the girl a girl pisses on a guy accidentally. Yeah. You know. Um, as you do, as you as, do. As you do, as, as you, you do. do. It's, it's fucking- I hate it when, hate it when that happens. Yeah, man. it's <laughs> hilarious though, it's hilarious. It's like one of the funniest edgy anime that I have seen like, but it's it was all like a few years ago, wasn't it? How, how old was it when it came <sighs> 20, out? 17, 2018. Yeah, cause I was a big fan of the manga. It was one of the few manga yeah. that literally had me like crying laughing yeah. when I was reading it. So I was like, I, I gotta watch this when it was out. But Except uh, it has a very unfortunate ending. Though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, have, I haven't actually read to the ending yet. spoil oh, for me. It's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was the same. I read the manga and I thought this is one of the funniest things I've ever read. Yeah. And then just, oh man, I don't want to say too much about the ending, but mm. it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not that great. Yet. So I was watching- How the hell though did you watch that on a plane? Okay, so- I, Cause I felt ashamed watching it. Wait, 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 okay. wait hold up, where, where were you sitting? I, okay, I was sitting on the end, right? And had an iPad. Ooh, that's okay. Funny. Wait, so okay. the whole, everyone who walks gets to see it? I mean, I, I don't care about them, right? I care about the people sitting next to me. Right. Why, why do you not care about them? And yeah. the, and the person sitting next to me was like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, you're gonna love this room. <laughs> room. So, so at, at the beginning, right? I was like, okay, I was trying to be discreet about it. Right, I was like, yeah. have, cause I was like, ha I, it was on an iPad. So I was trying to watch it as close to my face as possible. You know, you know, <laughs> you know like trying to be discreet. So like- it, Just putting blinders on this thing. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I, exactly. And then it was like a 10 hour flight. So my arms are going to get tired. Yeah. And then about like an hour in, I was like, I don't fucking give a shit anymore. <laughs> and you know, if the kid wants to look over, you know, that there's there's some culture in his life. <laughs> you want to be a Chad kid, watch this. <laughs> um, because it wasn't the only thing I watched as well. I watched, um, cause the new season of Game of Thrones was on as well. Oh so I thought, God. I thought, you know, you know what? I've already watched Prison School. Finish why the fuck with not? The, with the video. Why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, they can't blame me that time because it was on their selection, yeah, right? Yeah, so. Yeah. You know, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, kid, or you're, you're, okay. you're welcome, kid. <laughs> He's probably a massive fan of the show now. He's like, thank you for opening me up to do the you, world. Do, do you get to the point on a, on a long ass flight? It's like a flight that's over like eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. Where you have one hour left and mm -hmm. you need to yeah. pick something to watch. And that one hour of content is like the worst watching. Like, oh, I don't even bother with that kind of stuff. I, if, if, if there's less than two hours remaining on a flight, I just don't even bother starting. Anything. What do you do? Uh, I either read a book or sleep. The fuck? Yeah. yeah, it's it's just like that Twilight Zone. I because I, I, I hate that I, I hate period. it because it's the same when I know I have to do something in an hour and I'm yeah. like, I could squeeze in an anime episode in this time. It's like, yeah, yeah. I'll but watch, I I'll never watch, do. I watch a random Family Guy episode, yeah. I guess, because I, <laughs> I hate myself. And Big Bang Theory episode right after, yeah. why not? <laughs> nah, Big Bang Theory is never worth yeah. it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know when, I, when I see people watching that on a plane for like six hours straight, I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what, what went wrong where this is the pig? I couldn't escape from the Big Bang Theory thing, right? Because of my surname. Bazinga. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, many people are like, oh, Bazinga. look, the big bang theory. You're like, oh, shut the fuck <laughs> up. No. Already hate the show before yeah, you First of all, it's yeah. pronounced Bazinga. Yeah, right? <laughs> God damn it. But that, uh, that's yeah. That's gonna be on the Reddit now. Everyone's gonna no. Oh yeah, like, thank I, you. I remember seeing you tweet the other day that you don't realize how much porn is on Twitter until you oh, see it in public, right? There's there's like, you know, apart from what you like as well, <laughs> um, we've already we've already touched on that topic, yeah. but you know, in when you're sitting at home on your couch, you're like, you're just, you're just quite yeah, fast. You're, you're like whatever. immune to this shit. Yeah. When you're sitting in like a crowded train, yeah. there's like a grandma to your left, <laughs> like another little kid to your right. And you're like, man, that's just, <laughs> there's just, there's just a girl sucking dick right on my timeline. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's, it's just out there Wait, in like, the open. RL. Huh? Like real life. Stuff. No, hentai, of course. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. God, I'm, like, <laughs> what? I'm like, what accounts are you following? <laughs> Jesus, I thought I was bad. God damn. I, 
I, I, I was on the, cause the reason I tweeted that was the other day I was just on the train and like there was, you know, it's the worst, right? Where the image is cropped. No, I was and about to say, I was about to, and you're like. And, and you're like, oh, what's this? And you open it and it's just like, cause it, what it was was two people, right? And it was like two yeah. people dressed as cowboys. Yeah. Like from the top, yeah, right? Yeah. So I opened it and then they were naked from the bottom down, <laughs> riding, e riding each other like anime characters. And I, because I was asleep, it took me like four seconds to realize what I was looking at. But, I, but like I was holding my, home, my phone like here. So the two women who were sitting next to me definitely saw. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should like not show this. Right? But okay, when I moved to Japan the first week or so, I was like, oh God, I shouldn't show what I'm looking at on my phone. Yeah. But now I'm just like, hentai, Whatever. hentai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hentai. How, how do you think I find the time to like all the hentai? Yeah. I do it on my to. commute. You have to. Because <laughs> no, there's always the point, there's always that picture where you're like, hmm, this, this is a 50-50. Am I gonna see titty or is this just an etchy picture? <laughs> You know what I mean? Am yeah. I gonna see? <laughs> where it's like where it's just like it gets cut at like the top yeah, of the yeah, page. yeah, like like yeah. like that, right? Like, and, 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 and like the facial expression isn't like it, it is it isn't like ahigal. It's like it's neutral, it's, right? It's just yeah, like yeah. it's like it's just like a slightly blushing picture. <laughs> <laughs> but you can like like it's like a slightly blushing picture. So you're like, hmm, this could be just a really nice piece of artwork, or it could just be someone getting dicked from behind. I don't know. I have to click to find <laughs> out, right? <laughs> it's like red and pink. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that time? Can I go tell that story? Yeah, you can what? tell. <laughs> so, Garn had liked this photo of like a woman who was in a Naruto cosplay, right? Yeah. right. And uh, it was heavily cropped, so right. all yeah. you could see was like her shoulder. It was, it was Tsunade. Tsunade. Because yeah. how 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 I found it was uh, Revel House D D City like had, had liked it, and I, I thought I thought I saw the top half, yeah. and I thought, oh, that's that's a good it cosplay, like a wholesome cosplay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll like that one. And we were all sitting in the we were all sitting in the living room, right? Yeah. And then Sydney barges in. He's like, "God, what the fuck have you like?" <laughs> <laughs> and we were all like, "Why? Whoa, what's, whoa, what's, 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 what's going, going on?" Yeah. So we go and we expand this image, and like seventy percent of it is her with her ass, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like full bare ass. Yeah. So, so 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 the exact pose she was doing, it was like it was like top half was like this, but then the bottom <laughs> half was just. The bottom half was just like this. <laughs> he, went to, he was like, wait, what? So he goes and opens it. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> and, we, and we all we all went to it to turn it alone because there's like six of us in the living room. Yeah. And we all went to go and see it. We all started fucking pissing ourselves out. Because Connor just basically retweeted this. You know? Oh my God. It was so funny. No. Holy shit, I, lo I, I nearly fucking lost it. <laughs> I, I was laughing about that for like a week. Yeah. It was, I, I'm going to find the photo and send it to Drew Dan. Yeah. Speaking of weird stuff on Twitter, you've been watching some weird stuff on YouTube. Speaking of stuff on Twitter, stuff has been happening on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, I mean, YouTube, every single YouTube community seems to be on fire. Yeah. We're doing pretty well though, anime YouTube, right? Surprisingly. So far, so far. Surprisingly. I mean, yeah, it's kind of wild right now. I mean, I don't really want to get into the specifics of all of yeah. it. No, no. It's all speculation. I'm, I'm anyway. sure you, go, if you guys have a Twitter account, you know what's been happening. Basically the whole of YouTube's on fire and Every day you log in on Twitter, it's just- and Twitter's 20, just adding the fuel longers. to the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just, but at this point it's just like exhausting, right? It's so hard to keep mm. up with. And like, yeah. I, I obviously don't want to sit here and be like, you know, you know, fuck the victims or whatever. I'm not trying to say that. What, would no. you, what I'm trying to say is that it, it's, it's, it's so exhausting. No, as, as like, as I don't know, as is, shall I say consumer or just person on the internet, mm. there's just too much information for me to be able to keep up with everything that's going on yeah. now. Yeah, so. there's only so many tweet longers I can read in a day uh, before I just start to, the big sigh starts yeah. to kick I, in. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Wanna, I wanna care, right? I wanna support all these people who yeah. are coming out with all these statements, but I also don't wanna like, help a situation that I don't understand anything about. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then also there's just there's just too many. Like yeah. it, it feels like our brains are being like DDoSed right now by yeah, like yeah. information. Yeah. Cause yeah. like not only is the world ending with coronavirus, which we've just forgot about. Yeah. Like, you know, we've got to deal with all this shit that's it's uh and figure that out. And it's just, oh my God, yeah. it's, it's impossible. Like, I don't even know how the drama channels are keeping up with all the stuff that's coming out. Oh, they're just I frothing remember. at the mouth, aren't they? It's <laughs> all this content. I mean, I, I, made a, I made a joke on Twitter saying like the only people benefiting from 2020 are the drama and news channels, but it really does seem that's the case, you know? Yeah. Because everybody else is just, so sick of what's happening, like, and and I feel bad saying that, right? Because no, as you said, like, I just wish it didn't happen. Right, you know what I mean? Right. It, it, it's tragic that the bar for being a semi-decent content creator is just 
not touching kids it, now. It's just keeping your genitals in <laughs> yeah, your pants. Yeah, yeah. Not, you know, it's sad that it's come to that, you know. <laughs> right. It's just, all right, I guess we're just making content is not even a thing anymore. Because remember, yeah. remember like five years ago when it was controversial to have a sponsor in your video? And um, now it's kind of controversial if you do something really weird with kids. Yeah. It's just like, what, what's... I don't know. Well, I mean, happening. I mean, I mean, YouTube's changed and evolved so much. Um, it's, I mean, thinking thinking about just just like I'm, I'm going going on like a content perspective. Yeah. Mm. You know, what I mean, there's there's always this kind of like YouTube meta about the content you should make. Because I remember like commentary channels or drama channels didn't really exist like five years ago. Because what what no. like I, I don't know. Because I I remember. It, I remember thinking, why would anyone be interested in YouTubers talking about other YouTubers? Mm. I, I guess it's like the way that, you know, the reason why TMZ exists, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets to a point, right, where YouTube got so big and you can only, like, the people, I mean, I basically only watch YouTube at this point. I, yeah, watch, yeah. I watch anime, I watch Netflix, but it's like 80% YouTube, right? Yeah. What I watch. Yeah. It would make sense that then a market would appear for being able to just. Talk about YouTubers yeah. and, and YouTuber drama and dumb shit that YouTubers do because yeah. my God, do they do dumb, some dumb shit. Yeah, and a lot of them unfortunately get away with a lot of it as yeah. well. And I think it's just because there was not as many eyes on just what YouTubers were doing uh. back then. Cause it was just like, why are you talking about YouTuber? They're, they're not a celebrity. They don't, they don't have any power. Why, you know, yeah. As much as all these YouTubers like wish they're a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, like uh, Twitter has just been, I've always enjoyed Twitter because I've always said to people, it's kind of a nice in between of social and business, at least in terms of like, as a YouTuber using Twitter. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand what like a, a regular person would need Twitter for. Like, right. I, I think it's a cesspit. I right? never yeah. I never used Twitter before I started YouTube. <laughs> like, like, no, I, no, I never no, cared no, no, no. about Twitter or anything like that. But you know, I think as a YouTuber, you it's kind of- You have no choice. It's almost required at yeah. this point yeah. next to a YouTube channel. I mean, I doubt many, we would be friends, right? If, if we didn't all yeah. on no. Twitter and socialize like, with each other. To me, Twitter is just basically Facebook for you know, for yeah. influencers online, I guess. Like I get to follow what everyone else is doing, not just, yeah, in, basically. Not just in my own circles, but in like other circles as well. Yeah. Because that's basically the only reason I go on Twitter apart from lewds and memes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Porn and you know. The, 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 <laughs> rest, the rest of Twitter just makes me <sighs> yeah. Sometimes, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, I totally because you, you can't have a, you can't debate anything really on Twitter. No, the, no. And people aren't interested in having like that. The moment you changed. join in on an argument, you've already lost. That's why, like, yeah. you know, I obviously we all, we're all human. We all have opinions on things. Yeah. But I think the reason why most of us just don't comment on anything because it's like you, if you comment, you lose. Yeah. Like if you get involved, you lose. We can't be fucked to join yeah. in on this losing yeah. battle, right? It's, no. it's, it's I just mean, a waste of energy. It's like, if I wanted to get involved, I don't think Twitter is the right platform no, to get no, involved no. for like a lot of things. Like some things, yeah, definitely. But I feel like there are other platforms or other means that can, that you could use yeah, to definitely, get involved. Definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just like, it's crazy how even the, most agreeable statements can become controversial on Twitter. Like yeah. I saw someone who was just like, yeah, just like don't fuck kids. And there was somehow people in the comments. <laughs> How somehow, dare you? Somehow there was someone commenting like, you know, as a, a playing devil's advocate. And it's like, wh what? This yeah. is just like drink water. Like, yeah. I thought this was like, you know, a thing that everyone just understood was the thing to do. Unfortunately, but common somehow, sense nowadays is not as common as we'd like to think it is, right? Which is why I just, again, like even if, you know, even if I think me commenting on something yeah. or like, you know, getting involved with a drama is like a slam dunk. I'm like, it's not worth it. Cause it's gonna be like four people who are like, I don't know though. Like, like you could say you got to drink water to survive and people would be like, but I like drinking Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Can I not do, are you, are you telling me that I can't yeah, yeah. drink Coke? You fucking right wing, like water. <laughs> Coke was once water, <laughs> right? It's just, I hate it so much. Yeah, it's not kind of why I just kind of like switch off and post yeah. my occasional memes to Twitter and get on with my YouTube. I feel for me, it's it's been like that for the past couple of years and yeah. it's just kind of gradually gotten worse yeah, and worse yeah, until today. I mean, uh, before I, I wouldn't hesitate to post an opinion about something, regardless of how controversial it was. Yeah, I noticed you don't really right? post your opinions much anymore. No, yeah. because every time I do, <laughs> got a lot there's shit. always some group of people who's just so quick to coming on to me like, oh, no, you're a terrible person for saying this very yeah, personal are. opinion. You are, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, apparently, according to the internet, I am. And now, and now I just, I don't know. There's so much, as you said, there's so much I wanna say, but I guess that's the double-edged sword of having a big following and, yeah, yeah. and a quote-unquote influence on the internet. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I right? think I've become content with 
not having to say my opinion. I mean, you look at like JK Rowling and you're like, please stop. Yeah, please, yeah. <laughs> please stop saying your opinion, right? But like, like this is the thing, right? You get you get famous or whatever and you think my opinion deserves to be heard. Yeah, it's, right. it's a right for it to be heard. And it's yeah. like, shut the fuck, no one gives yeah, a fuck someone, what you Sometimes think. no one gives a shit. I, I think like that's the biggest reality check as a YouTuber is like just learning that no one gives a fuck what you think. Yeah. <laughs> like just, yeah. cause just make videos for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Cause I mean like for me, I, I see myself the same way as I did like 10 years ago. Like mm. we're all just fucking normal guys yeah, yeah, yeah. who had like the same fucking life as most other people watching this. Yeah. Mm. You know, I went through fucking university. No one gave a shit about my opinion back yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. Why should, why would people give a shit about my opinion now? Because I have shitty opinions on anime. Like yeah, yeah. That, that, just, that just doesn't make I, sense to me. You know, yeah, I just don't think my opinion is, is better than anyone's. I think no. my opinion is just as shitty as some people. And isn't it hilarious how so many people who are against like channels like us, who are so quick to be like, oh, he thinks that his opinion is so much more grander than everybody else's because he has a large following, he has influence on the internet. I mean, and yet we never say or mean that ever. Like they're putting words in our mouth. I mean, it happens. I just kind of accepted that stuff happens like that. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get too beat up about it. I, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's part of like, like you said, the double-edged sword of having a very large audience. Like you, we, we could not talk to this large an audience if they were like in real person mm. in there in real life. And you're gonna get like something you're gonna say is gonna inevitably get misconstrued mm. or something like that. Yeah. And some people are just not gonna like you. Yeah. Uh, we talked about this last time. Mm. Um, and it, it's, it, it's a hard thing to learn that you just, gonna have to accept that you're not gonna be universally liked. Yeah. It's weird. But you know what's a one good example is that I remember you know when you first start uploading videos when mm -hmm. you got that first dislike. Yeah. And you were like, oh whom's <laughs> 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 disliked this? <laughs> Tell me thy name. You know, you're like, you wanna find out why they disliked yeah. it. And then like if you're looking like down here right now, you can see like like probably like hundred and twenty or like three hundred or a thousand. I don't know how many views we had, right? Yeah. You just you just accept really quickly that you're gonna have like 200 dislikes straight yeah. away. And you yeah. don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why 30 people dislike my video when it goes live, but it, it happens to everyone. And I wanna know why, but <laughs> it's something that as a YouTuber, you just come to accept. But I guarantee if any of you start a YouTube channel, you'll you'll know when you get that first dislike because it's gone sting and you're gonna yeah. be like, ah. But I've, I've always I've always said to people who, because so many people, when I go to panels or conventions yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatnot, the question that I'm sure all three of us get asked is how do you start a YouTube channel? Like what tips do you have for yeah, a beginning yeah. YouTube channel? And I've always said to people that the moment you start getting dislikes in your video is mm. when you know you've made it. <laughs> it's because it's true. Because it's, like, now, it's, it's actually yeah. true. It's because actually true. Or, or you fucked up. Yeah, or you fucked up really <laughs> yeah, yeah. bad. But if, if you if you know if your video start to get maybe like one or two dislikes to like you know yeah yeah maybe ten mm. times the amount of likes yeah. right yeah then that means you know you've made it because now you're reaching a wide enough audience that you won't be able to please everybody and and that's the end goal really for content yeah. creators right oh, definitely. because because I think it's kind of futile that there are some content creators out there who are just really desperate to try and please everybody. And I always just want to tell those people, dude, it's it's not going to work. Like you just have to accept that if you're on the internet, people are going to hate you for no mm. reason. And you just have to accept that. Yeah, like yeah. it's, I mean, you read the comments, right? And you see that some people make really odd conclusions from your behavior right. <laughs> like that are really odd just in general. And uh, someone, no matter what you do and what kind of personality you show, one person is going to yeah. perceive it in a bad way. Right, right it's just going to happen. Like, like if if we were just to take <clears throat> all the videos where we've collaborated, you know, apparently Connor's like manically depressed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just have a face where, like, naturally, I always get this in person. People think I'm mad at them, but I just have a face naturally that's just like. You just have a yeah, yeah. You just have a resting bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've always had that since yeah. I was like a kid. And but I, there's always that one comment when it's just like, why is, depressed. why is Connor so depressed? Is he it's just got like a thousand <laughs> upvotes, right? Yeah, is he just like, not happy it, it, to be there? It was on like your English video where yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. okay, people are like, yo, Connor's not like super energetic. It's like, it's not my video. I don't want to be that asshole who's like, it's about me. Yeah. You know, it's like, I, if I'm on like Joey's channel, right? Yeah. Joey's doing his intro. I'm not gonna try and interject. It's his fucking intro. You're not you gonna know be like, like, well guys. Like, uh, I, I'm not so self-centered where I think that I'm on someone else's video that I have to be the center of attention. I'm there to be on Joey's channel, right? Yeah, right. Like, yeah. I don't see it as like, I need to entertain. Yeah, we're, like, we're not all like Guy Fieri every episode. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, yeah like I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> contribute when I can join in, but I'm not gonna cut you off. It's yeah, your yeah, channel, yeah. right? Cause it would piss me off if someone was like trying to really show me up on my own channel. Yeah. I'm like, bro, come on, we're collabing, dude. Just, just be normal. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. my channel, all right? Yeah, like know your place. Cause wouldn't it be weird Right, if you're doing a video with someone, let's say you're a new YouTuber and your friend comes over, you're like, let's make a video. And your friend is like his normal self. The moment yeah. that camera turns on, he's like, yo, what's up? You're like, 
Oh, what the <laughs> fuck, man? What, what happened? Like, that would be weird, right? Because yeah. obviously I'm not like that all the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's just something that's like, I don't know, man. Yeah. Okay, question for you. I, I, I get this every single time I do, like you said, like a panel at a convention. Mm. I, right. I get the question that is, how do you deal with hate? Because I'm of the philosophy, you never deal with it. You just come to accept it. Yeah. yeah, right? yeah. You just learn to just yeah. get over it. Like, yes. Do you remember how you, you know- No, like to- that's, that's like a very, um, I'm like, I feel very passionate about this because okay. I feel like there's no right answer for this. And I feel like the right answer is that we just basically got to check ourselves online and just don't be a fucking dick, yeah. right? Because it's it's unfortunate, right? Because I, I, I get this, I get asked the question a lot as well. And every creator I've talked to, there's there's no solution, right? Yeah, no. You just get used to it, right? You just, you just got to ignore it, yeah. right? And to me, that's fucking insane because that's not a, <laughs> that's that's not a solution. That's no. a coping mechanism. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. But, exactly. But that's the only thing we can do when we when we have to deal with hate. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'm sure she won't mind if I share this, but um, Jessica Neary, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, really good friend of mine. Um, I asked Damn, her this. Is, qu- that a, is that a flex? I asked this question to her because you know yeah. she, when she blew up, she was yeah. getting noticed by everybody. But oh, at the same yeah. time, when you blow up in that sense, you also gain a lot of haters. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, that's just yeah. how it works, right? And so I remember, I think Aki asked her the question of how do you, how did you get through that? Mm, because yeah. we all saw as a third person just how brutal her hate oh, was. She got a lot. Of yeah, hate. yeah, she, she got she a did. lot of hate in her prime time, right? Yeah, yeah, and. So Aki asked her, she was like, so how did you, how do you like deal with it? Yeah. And I think Jessica said it in the most perfect way. And she just said, it's not that you deal with, you do end up dealing with it, yeah. but it never stops hurting. No, no, it, 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 it and will. That, and, and I think that just perfectly sums it up. Yeah. You learn to deal with it, but it never stops hurting. Every time, if you see that one hate comment, that's just, it just hits you in that the worst spot possible. Yeah, mm. like you'll learn to deal with it because you've seen so many examples. But of it. like, no, no matter how immune you are, there's always that one comment every so often oh, yeah. that comes up. That just you, you're just <laughs> like, oh, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I just I, ruined that. Just ruined my yeah, whole day. Legit. And I thought I was above this, but you're never above it. No, yeah. you're never. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who I'd say I'm, I'm not self-conscious about many things. I'd yeah. say I, on average, when people <laughs> I speak to, there's maybe like one or two things I'm self-conscious about. Yeah, and it's just like. Dude, they can say whatever they want, but if they hit yeah. that one thing that I was worrying about that one day, yeah. Damn, yeah. that shit hurts. Yeah, because I, I think one story that I, I've experienced on like a secondhand mm. experience, and I'm, I'm sure Sydney's fine with me telling this story, is that she was she became a meme. Okay, she yeah. this was this was back when cringe culture was like at its prime. Yeah, so she made like she made a video when she was a kid that was like uh, it was like it was kind of like a parody of like. Yandere's and just like the anime weeb kind of girl, mm. but it, it 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 was to the point when you know people couldn't tell that it was satire and because they don't know the personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, yeah. they don't know the person. She wasn't really a YouTuber back then. She was just a girl a, on the internet. A right. Girl who uploaded. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then years later, Leafy featured it in a video. Yeah, I remember. And that, that just fucking blew up. Like yeah, yeah. she became she became a meme, and I like I, I I was on YouTube at this point, so I know like the right the right and wrong things that you can do online. Yep. But even seeing it from a secondhand perspective, it was like, it was hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because she'd wake up and she would just get death death threats every single day. Like she, I, ha- I had to just delete Twitter, delete Facebook because it got to the point when people from her school were messaging her about it. That's how yes. widespread it was. And like, we've I've never talked about this publicly, but it was fucking hard, right? Yeah, Cause yeah. like, I, I love Sydney and, like I did not know the right way to, way to deal with it. Mm-hmm. So what I what I did was um, I was like, okay, this is the only way I could like, I could make it a bit better. So I wrote like a parody video for her, which is if 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 you've seen Sydney's video called like How to Be Tsundere or or something along those lines, yeah. mm-hmm. where she basically satirizes it. That was like that was that was my way of trying to help her get out of it because yeah. you you know on the internet if you say something is bad or you, if you say you're hurting, that's only going to make it ten times worse. So yeah, yeah. so. I, I tried to deal with it by just trying to make a joke out of it. And mm. to an extent it worked, but to this day, like Sydney still like, sometimes she gets notifications on her Facebook or her Twitter. Oh, yeah. And it's just, it's 
it, it affects her. It, it, it never went away yeah, because we, we went through like a whole year period where she was just afraid of social media because mm. she was afraid of opening up a message and then someone new was like mocking her or someone she knew personally was mocking her. And it's like, this is why I like feel really strongly about this because I don't feel like there's a right way you can deal with it. No. The only way we can deal with it is just to make sure that we as as a community don't act shitty online and just and just yeah, know yeah. that there is a person behind that avatar and we can it's it's so easy to forget a lot of the times e even for us you see a number we, we see our view count and we're just like that's that's just a number mm. but like behind behind every number behind every avatar there is someone there mm. and especially with what's been going on online nowadays you know what i mean and some of the stuff that's been happening on twitter and youtube recently we, I, I think it's super, super important that we as a community try to just act better. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Because because there's no there's no way to regulate this. So the only the only way the only way I can think of is just to promote just acting better and being better online. And Since when did it become so hard for people on the internet to just act like a normal fucking human being? Uh, it's it's weird because the mentality people have is just strange. Like uh, my old housemate used to do like K-pop dance videos. Mm -hmm. but like, you know, there'd maybe be like, I don't know, like 20, 30 comments on those videos. Yeah. And I remember there was one time when someone said that she looked like chubby in one of the dances. Mm -hmm. Right. And then she replied being like, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. And then this person replied saying, oh, I never thought you'd see it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's and the thing, right? That's the that's the weird mentality that I think some people have where they think, oh, they're never gonna see this. Like, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. We'll see it. Yeah, like, yeah, we'll yeah. See it. And I think every YouTuber said that time and time again. We see it. We see it. But then a, a part of me is like, is that like a bad thing to say that we're going to see it? Because is that going to make them comment more? I just feel like this is a solution. This is a problem that's never going to have a solution. No. Mm. Except that just you know maybe if we keep repeating the message of you know be a little careful because like yeah. you know I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to get mega upset about anything. Mm. I, I might get a little bothered, but I'm going to be fine. But yeah, you know with some of the unfortunate stuff that has happened recently with, you know, a lot of online personalities and, you know, some taking their own life. It's, yeah, exactly. it's really, it's pretty terrifying that to think that maybe some of my friends might not be able to handle that. Right. Yeah. right? Like, and, it, and that's why, you know, like, I think I'm sure we can all agree that we all very strongly advocate for mental health among YouTubers. And, th and oh, there's yeah. a reason why so many YouTubers do have mental health issues is because of stuff like it's this. Because of this, because you know? we were never like, we like, us just as human beings, you know, yeah. we, we evolution never taught us how to deal with <laughs> 50 million people sending you a clown emote. Yeah, you know, you, you, exactly. you know what I mean? Like, you, don't, like, you don't learn this shit in school, no, right? No. Like you just, you just have to learn through trial and error. And unfortunately, a lot of the times, some people are just not psychologically equipped to handle a certain amount of hate or a certain yeah, yeah, amount of, yeah. you know, backlash or anything yeah. like that. And yeah, I mean, you, you know. Do, do, do you ever find that we, we like, did you ever like do YouTube or like watch YouTube videos to like escape real life sometimes? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I but but, but like people. now sometimes you feel like you have to switch off Twitter and switch off YouTube and escape that in real life. Oh yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, isn't that messed up? It's, really weird. <laughs> it's, it's weird because it's so easy. Just it, like, going back to Satoshi Kon, right? Mm. It's, it's, it is totally like getting sucked into another world. Mm. Oh yeah, right, it is. right. It's, it is a separate world where you exist in that world. And the best way I can describe getting a lot of hate is it just I don't know why, but it just feels suffocating. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. You could be sitting in your living room, no one's there, but you could just feel like suffocated, just like with all these comments being like yeah, yeah. thrown yeah. onto you. Um, it's it's really hard, and there's no right way to deal with it as a as a person. You yeah, just because this isn't interesting that we could you know upload a video and it get. 200 dislikes and we think, oh, it's only 200 people. Yeah. But if you think about it in real life, that's like walking into that. a fully packed cinema and all those people just yeah. immediately turning to you and saying, fuck you. <laughs> that's what it feels like. That's what 200 yeah. dislikes looks like. Yeah. And it's so weird how so many YouTubers are just kind of numb it's, to that it's, now. It's also weird because there are a lot of YouTubers who never got off the ground who I think should have Yeah. because it really crippled them. Like. Yeah. Um, I don't know if she's okay with me talking about it. I'm just gonna fucking do it, it's whatever. So you know, like the, the hit or miss girl? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Remember that, when that, that was a thing yeah. like yeah, two yeah. years ago? The so one she, you interviewed? Yeah, yeah so yeah. that was a, I mean, I should probably introduce how I actually met her first mm. and then we can go into it. So uh, before she blew up as the hit or miss girl, she uh, met me at a convention because she was a fan. Mm. And one of my friends after she blew up was like, yo, on her Instagram, she's got a picture with you. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. I don't know this girl. 
And then I, I went to a, an Instagram and sure enough, mm. she had a picture with me. So I, I DM'd her and we, we were ch you know, chatting and I was like, yeah, if you need any help with anything. Uh, Cause normally when I like speak to new YouTubers or YouTubers who are blowing up, mm. I'm like, hey, if you need any help, you know, with negotiating ad deals, you need any help dealing with anything, mm. let me know. I'll give you advice. I'll help you out. I'll get you all sorted. Mm. It's chill, right? Because it's hard. I wish someone would help me. Yeah, right? yeah I wish someone right, would help yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so then uh, you know, she had all these plans and stuff to make uh, <laughs> content, which I think she should have because she was in a very rare position where she could have gotten a career for you know, like at least like five, ten years yeah. off mm -hmm. the fame that the level of fame that she had at that time. Oh no, oh, definitely yeah, like. Yeah. It was insane. And if, yeah, you, if yeah. you were around this time, you'll know she was like the thing. That yeah, year, yeah. Right? It was, I mean, my video was garbage and it got a million views. Just, <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a terrible video. Yeah, but it, it right. was purely based off her face and her name. And yeah, yeah. A million views just like that, right? Not even a problem. And there was compilations of her, uh, of any, her doing anything with a, hunt, with a million plus views on mm, YouTube. Right. Because she didn't upload anything. So yeah, people yeah, wanted yeah. it. And I was telling her, you know, we filmed a video for her channel. We were trying to help get her started. Mm. But she made a mistake, uh, which which I tell the YouTubers, uh, uh, everyone's gonna be like, what do you mean, Connor? Because you did this is, uh, don't make a fucking Discord server. Uh, <laughs> I think I think, I think being, having a Discord server that you're involved in, like you're actually moderating yourself yeah. is the quickest way to get people to start disliking you. Right. It is, because if you have to ban someone, They'll, they'll be like, Sea Dog banned me. He yeah, banned me for no yeah, reason. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So she made a Discord server. Um, and bear in mind, you know, she was already like kind of a target on 4chan. Yeah. Because right, 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 yeah. they wanted to find out information about her. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. this became like a cesspit of a Discord. I know, yeah, she, yeah. I know she'll probably say that it isn't, but like, I've seen a few th As I've a been third around, person. I've been around on the internet. I know a cesspit when I see one. Right? <laughs> like, I know a, I know a 4chan breeding ground. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And they were out for blood for her. Yeah. Like they they like doxed her like multiple times. They were finding out where she was. They found her boyfriend, which yeah. she hadn't revealed. And they were making it hell for him and her. They were yeah. like threatening that they were gonna come to her house and they would mention their address and mm. stuff. And like, that was a, a, I reckon her chance of, you know, having anything was ruined because she was so preoccupied with all this shit and trying to deal with it. Mm. Oh yeah. Of people just hating on her, finding her address, saying horrible things about her, yeah. saying that she was a dude all the time, you mm. know, like it was horrible. And like, I, 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 I many times she would message me like really upset about it being like, what do I do? I don't know what to do, man. Like, yeah, you know, like, countless horrible stories. I don't know what I can share and what I can't share. So I just won't share anything. Right, yeah. right. But there was just really horrible things that was happening to her left, right, center, center. Cause she, didn't set up the precautions to deal with this. Oh no. And she didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. Yeah. And but there's even even then there's only so many precautions you can set up. Yeah, yeah. I mean be... the bigger you get, you normally limit ways that people can communicate with you, right? Yeah. Like yeah. You normally make it very difficult for people to be able to mm. one to one talk with you. Yeah. Also because it's just very hard to talk to that many people. Because if, if, I, if, I, if I open my DMs on Twitter and I was like, hey guys, open DMs. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, my DMs would be pretty much unusable within two days. Yeah. Right. So and it's just like, it's really tragic because she easily could have had a career. Mm. Oh no, like, she could have. And I, she's probably watching this now thinking, wow, Connor, you should have told me this, but it's like, how can I tell you to make a career? Right, right, like, right. I, I, I did my best to help yeah. and push. If she's her. not the one acting on it, then you, there's not much- But she, she wanted to, I remember either, she right? wanted to, and I, and I don't know if she really did want to or not, right. but there was definitely opportunity there. And, and it was just, it was really I sad know. seeing I mean, hate. Just I, really like is. hearing this, I understand how hard it can be, especially in the situation she was in, because yeah, that it, was a rare situation. That doesn't happen, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't happen often. But you know, when you when you get to that point when it's just you're scared to go online, like like going back to what yeah. I experienced with Sydney, I was like, I, I I had to like just uninstall everything. Like I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was I took the phone off of her and I'm like, okay, just let me just let me go through the hate comments and yeah. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll I'll make sure it's safe for you. And man, go, going through the phone. For on behalf of her, I felt fucking God, shitty yeah. Yeah. because some some of the things people can send are fucking horrible, yeah. horrible. Okay, especially especially back then. So yeah. I can totally understand being like, dude, I just don't want any involvement in this because right, right, right. if you go into that thinking that you can make a career out of this with that kind of toxic environment, oh, no. I don't know. I, I think at that point you do yourself more harm than good oh, yeah. in the long term. And I think there, I mean, there is, you know, there, there's always a time when you can make a career online, but I think there is a healthy way to go about it. Absolutely. And a, and a less yeah. healthy way to go about uh, it. I mean, I think there was definitely room for her to do it. Yeah. Uh, 
It's just it oh was, no, that, was, I think that was. If, if I mean, if the okay, no, I'm not trying to compare, but you know, like it's like a similar situation with the Nico Lol girl. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She became a huge streamer now. Yeah, and I think at the peak of the hit or miss thing, it was bigger than the the Nico Lol girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. So I I think it was easy, but she just didn't do anything, and her parents were also pretty much like against anything. Yeah. And didn't take any of the stuff seriously. Cause the thing is, if you want to make a career out of it, you do need like a very good understanding of the internet. Yeah, which right. is why- And, and I, how yeah. it operates. Which is why I was trying to help her out. And I was yeah, yeah. like, hey, and you know, there was also like a ton of like, you know, opp opportunistic YouTubers coming out of the, <laughs> with the woodwork to try and, you know, get their piece of the pie, if you will. Right. Yeah. Um, Cause you would tell me about all the stuff that some of these YouTubers were saying. And I was like, oh my God, these, some of these dudes are slimy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just, I don't even know. Internet's a scary place, man. It is, which is like, I, I'm so glad I didn't just blow up. I'm so no, glad no. I got the the slow climb. The slow yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I, I got to make every mistake. I got to make all the fuck ups. I got to mm. learn everything yeah. myself before I, I actually had to learn all that, right? So I, I can yeah. deal with it now because I learned it all. But a lot of people who blow up, it's like, how the fuck do you, how do you learn how to negotiate an ad deal? How do, how do you learn how to deal with like a hundred plus hate comments? Yeah, right? yeah. Like how do you, no, no one tells you how to deal with this. No, I, exactly. I don't get much hate, but you know, everyone yeah. gets a, a little bit. This episode of Trash Taste is sponsored by Bookwalker. Have you guys heard of Bookwalker? Oh Man, no, you never heard of Bookwalker. Daddy Bookwalker? Daddy <laughs> Bookwalker. <laughs> the boys who got us our visas. No. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Bookwalker right now is doing a summer anime kickoff event where you can get 10 to 30% coin back on the following series, such as Uzaki-chan wants to hang out. Have you seen that one that's about to be animated? What about oh. this next one? Sword Art Online, oh Alicization. I've never you know I'm gonna one. be watching that. I'm <laughs> gonna be watching that one. one. We also have Rent a Girlfriend as well, which is a pretty popular manga series that's about to get an anime. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, at the time of recording, I have we haven't watched the anime yet, but I'm so hyped for this one. Like yeah. this is this, I, I feel like this is gonna be the next big, you know, harem kind of best girl, really? best girl kind it's of show. It's gonna be, as the name suggests, the trashiest. <laughs> <laughs> I was you gonna see say, what I it kinda, it kinda yeah, sounds yeah. a little trashy. It is a little bit, but here's one that's not trashy, ReZero. Okay, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. As my waifu, Rem, I'm hyped. Are you, are you fucking serious? Are you Are you <laughs> I, I mean, serious? I mean, look, I'm gonna be the one percent to flaunt over Beatrice. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, yes! <laughs> oh my god! I thought I was the only one. Oh this my is, god! This is like yes! where, this is like this is like the number two pedophiles. <laughs> <each other. laughs> I thought I was the only one. Yes, Beatrice, best girl. No, but not no. only that, we also have Neon Genesis Evangelion, the manga series. Or if you want some high quality light novels. We also have My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong as I expected. Amazing light novel series, by the yes. way. Amazing anime series as well. Yes, you definitely check out season three. And if you haven't, if you don't know it, then either read the light novels or catch up on season one and two, cause season three is gonna be fucking hype. Also we have Monster Girl Doctor and Fire Force. Yes. So if you like that and a whole lot more, then make sure to go over to Bookwalker. And once again, thank you for sponsoring today's episode. Back to the video. So I mean like, here's a question for you guys then. Like, what do you think of the state of anime YouTube right now. And do you think it's in like a healthy spot? Cause I, I well, think- Well, I mean, I guess compared to what's happening on other communities I mean, right now, right? <laughs> compared bro, to the Smash bro, community, bro, bro. any tube is like the version Mary, right? Like, well, Nintendo is probably thinking, holy fuck, we dodged a bullet from being a channel. Like, like, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers is for good boys and girls. Remember yeah. kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean like it, there was a point, I'll, I will admit there was a point where I would look at the Anitube community. I was like, Man, fuck this community. <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately, like th there was just like some people and just like some fan bases as well, especially yeah. just just some groups of people wh where I was just like, man, we don't need this kind of mentality in the, in here, but what can you do, right? The the Anitube community, or at least the anime community online was, especially in the mm. last five years or so, has been okay. growing so much more yeah, rapidly, yeah, right? Like yeah. five years ago, it was still very, very much a niche, right? Yeah, but yeah. nowadays it's gotten to the point now where other communities are starting to recognize the size and power of the anime and Anitube community. So oh, no. obviously with that is gonna come a lot of slimy behavior from a group of people, right? Yeah, I mean, like for me, it's it's been weird seeing the Anitube community grow as much as it has, because mm. I remember there was a point when you could just point to a group of people and be like, this is the Anitube community. This right, is yeah, the anime yeah, yeah. YouTube community. And then everyone kind of like tried to get along together because the group was small enough mm. where you'd know everyone in the community. So right, you, right. You'd, be, you'd like try to network and everything like that. I mean, and we all tried to do that at one point. Oh, we? no, no, no. And, and then it got to a point <laughs> when it the community grew too big for it to be 
like under one banner. Right. And there are too many different personalities for like everyone to be able to mix. Mm. And it's, I, I feel like that happens like, I think like three, four years ago. Mm. And now I, I feel like with, with anime YouTube, it's it's a lot of different small communities um, that are like grouped under one general yeah. banner, I guess. Well, it's like the gaming community, right? Like when, when it first started, I'm sure all these small creators would come together and ban. Yeah. But now that there are just so many of these groups, it's like small groups within small groups. Now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I bet the Fortnite streamers don't talk to the CSGO. <laughs> right, right. Like, you know what I mean, it's like yeah. it's different, and it's the same with anime, right? Like, dude, I don't know any fucking Dragon Ball YouTubers, but I know they are, and like the Naruto YouTubers, they all keep to themselves. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's weird, but it's it's weird because it used to be a point when if you made anime content of, at all, yeah, you yeah. were an anime YouTuber, and now there's people like Critical making anime content, like other yes. other people outside making anime content mm. as well, and it, it's it's just become a bit more widespread. And it's it's less. Everyone talks about anime. Now. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's more general now. Yeah, right. You don't necessarily have to advocate as an anime YouTuber for you to make anime content now. Now everybody like, can make anime yeah. content. Yeah, yeah. I, I I always felt like you know on the opposite end of you where you were. I've always been like a core of it, right? Because you want yeah. to be first. You know, you're always one of the biggest. You know, you've grown with it. I yeah. felt like I was always on the outskirts of it, where like I was never friends with anyone in it. Really, um, the, the only three percent. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, uh, the the only friend I, I friend I did have, you know, uh, turned out to do some really fucked up shit. Oh right? yeah. So yeah. I used to. Oh wow. Should I just should I tell the story? I mean, I've mentioned it. Now. I mean, okay. I know the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for right, it. So fuck it. I may as well say it. Um, so when I first started making Black Butler content, which if you don't know what Black Butler is, it's a a, a Victorian era anime about a servant and a-, a It's 93% the anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's very targeted towards, you know, a female okay. audience. And um, when I started doing it, I would do the voice of Sebastian. So I Sebastian, you know, Sebastian. Sebastian. I, would, I would do prank calls, you know, and I would call people up and I would tell them, oh my goodness, my refrigerator's running, blah, blah, blah. There's, a, there's a group of people watching this right now who are just like yeah. frothing from the nostalgia. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah. he did the Sebastian wait, 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 wait. Gotta, 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 I'm simply one hell of a butler, that line. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, so so I, I would do a lot of Sebastian content, right? Mm. And so in the show, there's a Sebastian and then there's a CL, mm. right? So I thought to myself, I need to find someone who sounds exactly like this guy, because. I sound exactly like this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I found a person uh, who, who insisted on being called CL. That's how into this character they were. Right, right, right. right? And I'm at the time, you know, they had a big following, and we were known together, and everyone just thought we were like best mates. Mm. But like, I always thought they were really fucking weird. Right. <laughs> first of all, I used to just do the Sebastian thing, and the moment the camera turned off, I was like, I'm gonna go and play games. Uh, I'm done pretending to be a British guy. I mean, yeah. I'm a British guy, but yeah. yeah, I'm done pretending to be a butler. Yeah. But for them, it was like. They were living. They never turned off the persona. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't like not call them that because they would be like, what the fuck? I'm called CL. You call me CL. <laughs> and bear in mind, this person's like, I don't know, they were like 26, 27. Like they, you know, they should have, it was weird. Right, right? yeah. A right. 27 year old should not be like living with their parent only, you know. I'm not Dave, I'm CL. <laughs> right, so, you know, it was weird and one time they came to London and then we hung out and it was really, really, really weird. Oh, right. so you met him in person? I met him once in person because I kind of felt like they'd help me out because we did a lot of Black Butler content, but then they started being really shitty and they used mm. to like flake on me and then- yeah. Okay, also, also one thing they did that was really sus is that you know, when we collab together, you don't ask for money from me. We're no. collabing. We both had YouTube channels. When, yeah. I, when they were on my channel, they would ask me to pay them. What? And I used to be like, that's not how YouTube works. No. When you collab, it's a mutual interest, you know? Yeah. But, you know, they were like, no, we want to get paid because my videos are doing better. Right. And I'm like, right, well, right. that means that your channel will get a huge. It doesn't matter. So that was also really frustrating to me. So I met them once in person after about a year and a half of not speaking to them because they were like, I'm in London. I lived in London. They were like, want to hang out. And I was like, fine, we'll meet up for afternoon tea as you do. <laughs> afternoon tea. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> These, these like Americans, filthy American. I'm joking. No. There was, so they turned up mm. and there was like two other people there right. who looked very, very young. Like, okay. like I asked one of them, I was like, how old are you? Cause they, it was really weird as well. Cause they were like attached to them. Right. And I thought that's really weird. Like they wouldn't, they would take it in turns holding on to the person. Right. right. I thought, wow, that's really sus. And I just thought, okay, this is, you know, Americans do American things. Yeah. <laughs> Cause as a British person, right? How I, I don't understand 
things that Americans do that are weird or fucked up, right? Like, oh, so right. Americans are just quirky, right? So Americans yeah. just do their own thing. I'm we, sorry, we, we all have like our own con, like stories about right, right, people right. doing weird things. That and, one weird American. Yeah. <laughs> and just, you know, I, I remember asking one of these kids, I was like, how old are you? And they were like 18. And I remember thinking in my back, I had, you don't look 18, you look like 16. And yeah. I was like, is your parent okay with you coming here alone? And they were like, yeah, it's okay. And I was like, all right, whatever. And I was really weird. I went home. I never spoke to them again because I was really creeped out. I right. left early because I, I made an excuse that I had to go. Right. Yeah. It was just weird. Right? Yeah. There was just like kids basically with him. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah. I thought we were going to have an awkward conversation for like two hours alone. And then I'd go <laughs> home. Right? Like, I thought that was what it was. <laughs> you know? And then uh, two, three months later, it must have been, it was in, no, no, no. It was like eight, eight months later. Right. I get a DM on Discord of, hey, you should see this. And it was a, uh, Link to a local police report. And I thought, what the fuck? Right. So I click on it and it's like two two counts of uh, molestation and one count of felony molestation. Oh. And I think, oh no, aggravated molestation, which I think is under 14 years old. Yeah. Um, Bruh. Now, 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 yeah. And uh, they were uh, a person who identified as a male, but they were born female. So I think that's why a lot of people just never thought that they would do something, yeah. right? But yeah, I, I can't remember what happened to them. I don't want to keep up with it. Like I don't. I don't yeah, care. I mean, like, uh, it's, I, I'm, I'm. It's a mess. I and mean, yeah. I guess your hunch was correct in that sense. Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, fuck, man. Like I collabed with this person like a lot. Like yeah. I think I, I, the moment I found out that they were being charged with all this stuff, you know, even if you know, yeah, you won't uh, innocent until proven guilty, right? Yeah. yeah. But I just didn't sit right with me. Yeah. Leaving that stuff up. I was like, I don't, even if it's a chance, I don't want to leave it up. So I took all the yeah. videos down, which is like 40 or 50. Mm. If you go to my social blade, you'll see like <laughs> views, views, minus 9 million yeah, views, yeah, yeah. views, <laughs> views, views. And I took them down. Yeah. Um, I still got comments being like, where are the videos? You know, and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to break this bubble to you, you know, but yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess you just I guess, did. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I guess you just did. I did now. And it was just like, oh God, it was terrible. And, and, I, and you think back, you're like, fuck, like, why? Why did you have to do that? Yeah. Like, what's yeah. wrong with you? And then yeah. I, I felt really guilty for ages because I was like, "Fuck! Did I help them? Did I help them? Like, like did I facilitate this by giving them more of a platform? Like, yeah. it was just fucked up." And like, I, everyone I knew who was close to him also was really weird. And it was just like, it was a thing of like, just record this one thing, then please leave me alone yeah. all the time before because they were so weird. And I should have listened to my gut. And I don't know why I did, and I regret. I mean it's, you always have that first kind of experience where, you know, meeting people on the internet might not be the best idea sometimes, or people, right. are, some you, people you, are just you, really you, weird on the internet. You some know, people and, are, some people are. And you, yeah. don't, you, don't, you, you don't always get that until you actually hang out in real life right. and it's not like in a Discord call. Yeah. I mean, my early YouTube career was definitely that because when I was still doing gaming stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. naturally I would also bond together with other gaming YouTubers right, right, who yeah, were yeah, also right. trying to grow. So I think this was back when I had like less than 10,000 subs. Yeah. I had yeah. this huge, Huge group of like friends that I used yeah, to collab yeah. with, and uh, and a lot of them I never met in real life until yeah, yeah. much much later. And when you do, you just you really get, as you said, like you finally get a sense of who this person yeah. actually is. And unfortunately, sometimes they're just completely different. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah it's scary no, exactly. how much some people can just fake yeah. that shit yeah. until they I, think they can get away with it, right? It, it, it's really like made me listen to my gut when I have a bad feeling about someone. Yeah, and yeah. now I don't even try and like humor them. I'm just yeah, like- no, I, cause like right now it's it's made like, my experiences has made me like a lot more careful when I meet yeah. people in real life mm. yeah. um, because it's, you just have to be, you know, yeah. I wanna be, you know, when you started out, you were trying to be friendly to everyone yeah. and I wanna be friendly to everyone because yeah. I wanna give everyone the benefit of the doubt. But when there is just this many people that you just, you just gotta be careful sometimes um, and you gotta yeah. have that barrier up. Also over experience, I feel like, you get a much more of a keener eye oh, no. on like, stuff like that. Like you, you know yeah. if someone's doing something for like oh, no. sus reasons, yeah. you know? It just makes me so sad, the sheer amount of people who do fucked up shit like this. And it's yeah. just like, I don't understand it. Cause like I, I, my head is not even remotely wired like that. So yeah. I, to me, it's so foreign that people could do this shit. And it's so confusing that so many people do shit like this. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, why? Why the fuck do because you the internet don't fuck kids? How hard is that? <laughs> How hard is it to not fuck kids? I don't understand. I know, I know. I know. What um, the excuse fuck? me, are you, are you telling me? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, right? Yeah. I say that what, and then some How do you argue about that? How do you argue about that? It's not uh, even an argument. It's just like, um, I don't. It's like also side notes. If I ever do meet you in real life and you're like an online personality, that I might not know. Please introduce yourself as like your internet handle. I've had so many times oh when- Oh my God. 
you like you, you, you someone introduces them to you and they're just like oh yeah i'm i'm like matt or something yeah and it's just like okay, okay do, do i fans, do i know fans do yeah. that too yeah. they're like do you remember me and i'm like who and they're like oh i'm like ex girl with this avatar i'm like yeah. and then they I, I open up their profile and they've changed it and i'm like <laughs> wait how the fuck was i supposed to know who you are if yeah you don't even show your face what, yeah what, what yeah do you want? especially what do you especially yeah. the people who don't show their yeah, face and they just yeah. the fuck? and like, it's like i'm jacob it's like I know like 70 Jacobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, which one of the 70 are you? I know, right? So yeah. yeah. Oh, should I go back on topic? To no, the... just like, yeah, just introduce yourself by your internet handle. Just just, just like- I've seen so much I'm less it's, awkward. It's, I feel like, I, I get it because it's weird. Like I, I feel weird being like, yeah, hi, I'm Giguk. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I get I just, it. I, I just say, hi, I'm Connor, Sea Dog Online. Yeah, that's what yeah, I say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just just like in, introduce yourself with that in mind. So we, we know because we don't, Nowadays, people know each other by their, their internet handles yeah, 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 a lot yeah. of times. More people know you for Giga than gone, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like, that's because, I mean, that's how it is, right? I mean, that's that's fine by me because, like, Giga, I, I don't know how you guys got your names, oh, but I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know the origin story with the anime man. I, I don't know how the fuck you thought of that. <laughs> name. I'm just, I'm, it's all that SEO, bro. <laughs> it's all it is, baby. One of the getters views and those recommended. Yeah. But like oh, for God. me, Giguk has always just been, it, it was like a family nickname that mm. my dad thought up when yeah. I was born. So like, I'm just I'm just used to it. Like if yeah. someone calls me Gig or Gant, like my family to this day still call me Gig. So like, I'm, I'm used to hearing that. So right, 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 I'm right. completely sense, comfortable sense. with just people calling me Giguk or Gant. If my parents call me anime, man, I would, <laughs> think, I, I would think I was like disowned or something. <laughs> if you call me the anime zone on the other hand, <laughs> that now we got a problem. Now we got a fucking problem. I do that sometimes just to fuck with God. <laughs> we do it, we do it. We, we, we like to joke around on this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I know it's just, yeah. I, that's the one thing I guess I, it's, it's really weird, right? Because I've never been used to introducing myself as like, hi, I'm the anime man. Because yeah. before all of this, it was just so natural for me. And I'm sure it is for with a lot of people to just be like, hi, I'm Joey. Yeah, yeah because yeah. I just want you to get to know me as a person, but it's weird now how it's gotten to that point where if you just say hi, I'm Joey. Yeah. Or some people are just like, the fuck is that? Who, who? Do I do I do I know do you? Do I know you? Which which how Joey? Many, how many subs you? do you have again? Yeah. Have <laughs> you even verified, bro? <laughs> <laughs> if not, don't talk to me. Man. Yeah, it's scary, man. Like numbers on the internet, man. Yeah. Scary shit. It really, it really scarily changes the perception of how you see someone, even if you don't mean it that way. I, I yeah, think yeah. We touched on that roughly on episode one, right? Like yeah. How, how we met each other and how the numbers played in the factor. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, going back to what I was saying earlier with the, uh, how I felt like I was always on the outskirts of the community. I think that experience that I did have very much solidified to me, like I'm okay with not making friends. Like oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, going to yeah. keep to myself, but yeah, then, yeah. You know, obviously I, you know. I mean, I very guys. quickly came to the realization that again, y you can't please everybody. So. Oh no, no. So no. it's just best to just find that However it's, many group of people that you know are cool yeah. from you know here till now, well, and just stick around with them, you know. One thing that I always found weird about the anime YouTube community specifically, and this was very much as an outsider looking in, is I mean I was in the community, right? Like I, I made anime I mean, content, you, you, yeah, but I never participated in anything, and I didn't make the videos that they would typically consider anime. Yeah, content. yeah, right, yeah. Right. No other community does this, where they try and like rank who's the best in their mind with content, which I find really odd. Like you never see the meme channels being like, here's the tier list of the best meme channels. You know what I mean? You never get like, oh yeah, no, Dolan Dark is better than Grande. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, one, no yeah. one gives a fuck. Everyone's yeah. just like, no one gives a everyone's shit. just like, I like Grande. I like this, right? It's like, yeah. no, no one does this weird thing, but for some reason in the anime community, they are obsessed with like ranking each other and seeing who has the best content. Yeah, and it's- I it's, only just noticed it's only the anime community. No yeah. other community does this and it's so weird. Does the gaming community do this? No, no gaming I've never seen that. No one does tier, and, and it's weird how like, on the outside looking in, I was like, wow, they really just normalize this amongst themselves. Yeah. <laughs> they really just love stroking each other's egos. And, and it's weird because no other content, no other community really does this where they like, all, all they do is like compliment each other. They're like, damn, yeah. that was a good video. It's like that business meme, you know, where like, <laughs> yes, we did business. Yeah, very business. good business. Great business, <laughs> great videos. Business great. executed. Yeah, 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 it's weird. And it's, it's, 
as someone who didn't do the type of content, the anime content that they you, considered- You weren't like officially right. recognized. So, yeah, 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 you yeah. know as, what I mean? Okay, as somebody, I'm sure a lot of you are like, know nothing about the anime community, right? Yeah. So I'll, I'll break it down real quick to you how, how the anime community works as an outsider. And you can tell me if my understanding is wrong. Or okay, okay. So I, I made anime content that was very entertainment based. I would take characters and do weird stuff with them like prank yeah. call, right? The anime community has uh, uh, two types of videos that they consider anime content. If you see a tier list, likely anything else that is not this will be ranked lower. And that's reviews or analytical videos, mm. right? Yeah. And what I, what I mean by that is obviously reviews of shows. If you review shows- they're, they're Or episodes. Or episodes or manga, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. And analytical videos where you do that shit that, that you did in English class where you break down why the curtains are blue. You basically uh, write an essay. Yeah, you write yeah, a 20 yeah, minute yeah. video and, and, and you know, why Deku uh, fists, you know, in the appropriate <laughs> way that he does, right? It's how Deku mastered his fisting technique. Yeah. 20, 20 minute video, yeah, red yeah, circles, yeah. right? Like it's that type of content where they like, or like the logic of uh, Haruhi Suzumiya. It'll, have a, it'll yeah. have a title like that, right? It'll yeah. be- ba Basically you gotta talk about a specific show or you talk, gotta talk mm -hmm. about anime shows in general. And, it, and it's a really strange obsession where amongst themselves, all these like small YouTubers or like I'd say between 10 and 100K. Yeah. They, they are obsessed with doing these videos and who can do the best of these videos yeah. and ranking. And yeah. it's so odd looking from the outside in. It, it's just like, it's weird watching them fight over this. And yeah. it's like, what's happening? Like this, this has gone beyond like criticizing each other's work to a point of like extremes, I think. Like yeah. it's gotten really strange. It's just become I mean, a giant and, and they circle. Don't really, they don't, yeah, it's a giant it's circle. It's a circle jerk, jerk right? And, and they don't yeah. really recognize any other type of content. And I'm okay with yeah. that because the, I think what it comes down to most is that most people who make videos, I'd say most YouTubers make it to serve the audience or yeah. to make a content for the audience. Yeah. yeah. These YouTubers in the anime community make content for each other. Yeah. And yeah. to be appra like appraised by each other yeah. and have their content like, you know, if, if, if Giga gives me the A plus on my video, it's, it's <laughs> that's all I ever wanted, right? It's, I passed yeah, yeah. this semester. <laughs> exactly. It's because obviously I want to be validated by my peers. Who yeah. doesn't, right? But that's not the only thing I wanted when I was starting to make content. No, for, no. These, for these energy viewers, it's the be all end all, right? That's, no. I, I, the sense, I could be wrong. And I'm sure a lot of them would disagree, but yeah. from the outside looking at it, it seems like I, that I is. actually totally agree with you. And I, I I don't think it's just the anime anime YouTube uh, scene I've seen it specifically, or at least like oh, the, really? uh, okay. the anime YouTube community, because I remember I had a very similar experience when I first started dipping my toes into the abridging community. Now this uh, was this was all the way back back in the day when abridging was like the shit. Yeah. Everyone wanted to be like <laughs> team four star and yeah. everyone was making their own abridged content and everyone had like the, a, a lot of different approaches and a lot of them were shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I, 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 they everyone you, tried you, you, and they You can failed. say that though. No, no, you but, but a lot of them were shit, yeah, yeah. right? Because, yeah, they were, they because were. Abridged, abridging is hard. It's yeah. hard. I've done abridging. I can, I can wholeheartedly right say it is fucking hard. Yeah. But what happened is this community formed and it was there was like these forums that popped up. And what happened is that people would just start start to criticize each other's work, each other's writing on comedy, yeah. right? And- Like it, they're all experts. No, right? no, 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 no. Cause, cause, cause the, it, it was, it did become kind of a circle jerk where, no, people, no, would, is, where, where people were in the end making content to appeal to each other. You know what I mean? People, people were just people were literally on these forums reviewing comedy writing in abridging, and, and not to say like not <laughs> that sounds so not not that sounds so pathetic. Yeah. Not not to say that comedy can't that there isn't a science behind comedy no, or there no, there no, isn't like a framework that you can work off of. Right, right. But what that did, it just it just made a lot of abridging so fucking stale and so samey. Yeah, because everyone's doing this trying to and please yeah, each yeah. other, so everyone's trying to write the same shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I also feel like what happens is, is that when a big channel, say of Team Four Star, right? Yeah, if they give positive praise to someone who's maybe up and coming, yeah. you know, maybe they will think, oh, well, they were nice to me. Yeah. So I'll praise their writing. And yeah. then it's like this giant <laughs> circle jerk of like the people who want to be respected and, and the new guys want to be respected. Mm. They all just pass around the compliments to each yeah. other. Yeah. Because they're like, this is what we need. We need this respect from each other. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and I, I saw, I see the exact same thing with with a lot of smaller anti-tubers now where mm. they, they try, they, it's, they try to make content to appeal to like the each other, other YouTubers, not other the YouTubers. which is why whenever you, whenever I see like an anti-tuber that just does something totally different or just, you, you can tell, 
right? When an AniTuber makes a video that is completely like, and they don't watch other AniTubers. Oh, yeah, you because can tell they, away. they always make a name for themselves. I, I remember the first time it happened was with uh, Demolition D. Like you can tell he had a completely new style yeah. that no other AniTuber like, had yeah. before, and I remember, like, I remember watching one of his video videos early on, and I was, I remember thinking, he's he's gonna fucking blow oh, up, yeah. yeah. And that's that's exactly what happened. And now he was like, he's he's quit now. He's he's like he's like that urban legend for us AniTubers, yeah, yeah, right. But he's like one of the most respected content creators in AniTube. But like, I remember John Super Eye Patch Wolf when he first came out. I knew he didn't watch any other AniTubers. Oh, he, you can tell. You he, can he, tell. He, fuck, yeah. he he fucking blew up as well. Um, I, I'm trying to think of this if there's anyone recently. Oh, I've I've got one. Um, I've never talked about him before. Um, there's there's this there's this guy called Scamboli Reviews. Mm. Okay. And yeah, he's, mentioned him before. yeah, yeah, he's, he's like, he's like very, he's, I can tell he's very new to the scene. And I've seen a lot of opinions about him online within like the AniTube community. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of it is very negative just because he, he, the way he phrases it, uh, phrases, phrases things and the way he goes about his videos is way more like different. And some would say like brash and harsh, maybe arrogant, mm. but from like, from myself, from like a content creator perspective, mm. comparing his content to like a lot of, the, a lot of the things the other AniTubers are doing, I could say, I could say he definitely has a more distinct personality and he definitely stands out. Even if I don't agree with all of his content or, or the way he approaches his content, mm. I, I, I can see that he approaches it. He just feels, he's got an angle, right? yeah, he, he just, he just feels different from the rest, even though he's technically also doing like analytical content. Mm. Yeah. And he's like grown a lot faster in, a, in like a short period yeah, yeah. of time. And, and I feel like we, we talked about this, you know, making making content to appease other YouTubers. Yeah. And sometimes you can definitely tell that. Oh and, yeah. I yeah. mean, I think the reason why uh, someone like John Super Eye Patch Wolf and, and yourself are able to get a, a plus a million views yeah. on a video talking about a very specific thing that maybe people aren't interested in uh, is it because I think you, like the priority is make the video good. Yeah. Don't, it's not about trying to appease someone or trying to impress another YouTuber. Cause I feel like when you do that, you're just gonna iterate on someone else's idea. Yeah. yeah. It probably wasn't already good to begin with. Yeah. But you think it's good because that's the in your mind, that's that's what you've been told by the whole community. Yeah. It's the golden standard. Yeah. Yeah. Right? When it should be just just make the good content. Yeah. Just 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 make content you want. Cause I remember go going back to the abridged thing. Yeah. The the meta game was try to make something better than Team Four Star. Yeah. You know, it, right, it, right. it was it was it was instantly it was like, I'm going to make an abridged series and I'm gonna try and make this more respected in this own circle than yeah. what the big guys are doing. Right, yeah. right. You know, and I, I'm pretty sure like Team Four Star, they, they didn't really give a shit. No, you know no, what I mean? No. They, they I mean, were they were they were innovating with DBZ a bridge and Helsing a bridge, yeah. and they were just doing their own stuff, and they were doing stuff because they thought it was good. Mm. Yeah. You know, and I, as someone who's been on like YouTube for a very long time, you can definitely feel when someone is making content with a completely unique angle and oh, yeah. it, you get a lot of the same reactions because yeah. a lot of, sometimes sometimes people come up very fast and people are like, why, why, is, why is he coming and up very get, fast? Uh, yeah, a lot of the small YouTubers get very bitter about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're very harsh about it. And uh, you know, but then when I can look at the content or any of us and we can see exactly why it succeeded, mm. you know, we can break yeah. that apart. And like, I mean, talking about Team Four Star, I remember I, I as you know, I've voice actor, that's what I do a lot. Mm. I've voiced a ton of abridges and, uh, the only time I've ever been laughing while I was recording was during the House Singer Bridge mm -hmm. that I did. And I remember I couldn't get the lines done because right. I was laughing too much. And I never have that problem with any other bridge, right? I mean, yeah. like, Tucker's such an amazing bridge. It was writer, such a good bridge yeah. for the time. It was incredible, right? Yeah, yeah. And then right. it's because they didn't give a fuck about trying to copy or trying to get the respect of someone else. Yeah. Because they were just focused on making the product. They just made shit that they thought was funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's And, that's and what it's it is. just like not not like not every not everyone who just makes stuff for themselves makes good stuff. No, you know no, what I mean? That's that's, yeah. that's 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 not like we're not trying to say you can't improve yourself by looking at other people. I, Respect doesn't pay your bills. Is what yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's a good way to say it. Respect yeah. doesn't pay your bills, no, right? Really yeah, at the end yeah, of the yeah, day, yeah. you know, if typically with how the YouTube algorithm works, like we all love to shit on it. But at the end of the day, if you make something that people are watching, YouTube will be like, hmm, let's recommend it more. Right. If people are watching your videos, you will get viewed. Like that's just how it works. Like yeah. it yeah. sucks that it's like that. Yes, there are occasions where YouTube does a little fuckery and drops the ball. Yeah. Mm. but. 
That doesn't happen to every, every one of your videos. Yeah. And there are YouTubers out there, and you've, you've, you've seen a bunch of them who are complaining like, oh, I've been shadow banned, etc. No, yeah. your videos are garbage. Like, <laughs> like it's, it's That's what the harsh it truth. Like, it's it? just yeah. the truth, right? Your videos are bad. And I can say that because my videos were bad at one point. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not just that, because I've seen many really fucking great YouTubers and yeah. anime YouTubers as well who do fucking amazing content. Mm. No idea how to market their stuff. It's no, market, no, it's no, I, no idea, no idea how to like title and thumbnail their video. It's a big they're, they're like, they're, they're like some anime YouTubers who I'm like, this is a fucking great video, but I don't, I don't know what like half these words in your title mean. Right. right, well, right, right, right. How, how is anyone going to click on this video? You know it's what like, I mean? It's like, am I clicking on an anime video or am I clicking on a scientific study? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know because some of these words, I'm just like, wow, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. These existed in the English language and could be related to yeah. anime in and, and, such and, a way. And it, just, and, and it does suck in a way that you have to play to the YouTube meta yeah. Yeah. of just how to title and thumbnail a video because, you know, I'm sure we've titled and thumbnailed some we videos. We don't want to clickbait, we're forced to clickbait. No, no, because you, you, you do. And there, there are different levels of clickbait, but like sometimes I'm like, you know what? It, it hurts me that I have to title it this way, but it's the only way people it's, click it's, on it. it's yeah. the only way people. No one's click gonna on watch it. it otherwise. Yeah, exactly, and, yeah. That, and yeah. that's just part of being a YouTuber, unfortunately. Yeah, and hate it, the game, I mean, the player. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, like for example, like the uh, I did an Arknight sponsorship recently. Love yeah. that game, right? But I, I titled the video. I spent eight hundred dollars on an anime mobile game. Yeah, right? it's not an anime. It's anime styled. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's a more accurate title would have been something like oh. How to play Arknights. I love yeah, Arknights. Yeah. yeah, like it would have that would have been way more accurate. But yeah. people aren't gonna click on that because they don't yeah. know what Arknights is. Right. If I give them a generic enough title that's enough like interesting enough, yeah, they'll click on it. And it's just trying to strike that balance, right, between not lying to the audience, yeah. but also being honest. Yeah. Right, right. I, I got I had the exact same problem with my gacha game video. Cause I, yeah, I yeah. put so much fucking work into this gacha game video. Yeah. And I'm like, a lot of people do not know what the fuck gacha games yeah, even yeah. are. You know what I mean? Like, how do I how do I give get someone who has no idea about gacha games to give this video a chance. Mm. You know, like, cause I, I think it's a pretty good introduction to the world of gacha and everything. You know, go watch it. I, I put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm just, below, I'm man. gonna just shout myself out. You know, it's, I put like a month of work into that video. <laughs> this episode you know, is sponsored by Giga. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it was, it was just really hard for me to figure out how to properly market this to an audience. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's part of the challenge of being a YouTuber. Like how how long how long do you guys spend on your titles and thumbnails? Out of curiosity, uh, sometimes you just know, and sometimes you sit yeah. For two hours I mean, I mean, confused. nowadays, I when I think of a video idea, the first thing I think of, even before I start writing a script or getting the general idea down, is yeah. what's the thumb, what's the title and thumbnail? Of yeah, yeah, yeah. I do do that like eighty percent of the time. Yeah, because if I can't, if no matter what, I can't think of a good enough title or thumbnail for it, I usually just don't even bother doing the video yeah. until I can think up of like, okay. With this title, people click on it. Yeah. And then I can start working on it and try and base my content around that title as much as I can so that it's not like, oh, this is completely clickbait. It's got nothing to do with the mm. content of the video, which is hard and like annoying because sometimes I have to sacrifice content for the sake of the title, Yeah, which is the worst thing you can do. Going back to the point I said earlier where I was mentioning making shit content. <laughs> <laughs> I've been guilty of making shit content. I think we all have. Well, okay, right. When I was only making Black Butler videos, I remember I couldn't watch my own videos. Yeah, like, yeah. Is that, is that bad? Like, no. Did you, have you been there? I've always said to people, if you can't watch your old stuff, then that's good because that means you're getting not only right, more right, harsher on your own content, yeah. but now you know how to improve your yeah. content. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. make that shit. <laughs> do you ever do you ever feel like you've like even right after you've made it, you're like, this is bad, but I'm gonna upload it anyway. Cause I feel like you wouldn't do that. Oh, I don't I, get to that stage. I, I, really? I, I, I do have like a bar of quality yeah. where like I, I have, I've literally, there's been one video recently where it's it's been, I've recorded it, I scripted it, recorded it, edited it. And no matter how much I tried to jig around with it, just it just didn't, just didn't work. And yeah. I just, I, I just scrapped it. And that was, that was like a good two weeks of work as <sighs> well. Um, it, it hurt, but like for me, if I'm not like, I don't always have to be like, this is this is the best shit yeah, ever. This yeah, is like yeah. 10 out of 10 banger every Just fucking time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like, okay, this is this is good enough. And yeah. even that hurts me yeah. to release sometimes. Yeah, just like same. just like good same. enough. But like, okay, question to you guys. Have there been any videos that you've ever regretted or like you just can't? Dude, like my first early part of YouTube. But yeah, like, my first four years. Like I, 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 <laughs> I, Okay, I'm gonna say this, but I know it's not true. Like I, I, I looking back, I feel like I hated it, but I know I yeah. didn't, right? I enjoyed what I used to make, but yeah. it was never what I wanted to make. Yeah, I made one or two things that I did want to make, 
And then I made more of that until I got stuck making only Black Butler stuff. Right, yeah. Right, and that was a nightmare to get out of. Yeah. Because like anything I made that wasn't Black Butler, no one watched it, no one. <laughs> and I remember, <laughs> I remember I moved to London and uh, I was making like 1500 pounds a month, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which in London, you know, this is before tax, before scraping tax, by, right? Just scraping by. I was basically scraping by. And I remember this is, I, for some reason I was adamant. I'm like, I'm, I'm not fucking making these Black Butler videos. All the, <laughs> I was still making them, but I'm not making them all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the, all of them bombed, like straight up. All of them just bombed. I was yeah. getting like one third the views I was normally getting. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna go homeless. I don't, I'm gonna have to go back to my parents and be like, I fucked up. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I was persistent. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm gonna make this fucking work. They're funny. <laughs> I think they're better than my old stuff. Yeah. And uh, eventually it, it did take off. But I, I remember like, I, I, cause the reason why I, 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 I realized I had to change was cause someone told me they were like, oh, that's weird that you can't watch your own videos like mm. at all. Like even reviewing it, I can't, I couldn't review them. Mm. I had to get mm. someone else to review them for me. Oh, Cause, really? cause it was like, I, I would cringe too much watching them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I didn't like it. Yeah. But like, I, I get exactly the same feeling sometimes. Yeah, but like now when I make a good video, I'm like, I fucking love this part. Yeah, yeah. Really, <laughs> um, I love, that guy's hilarious. <laughs> I, I, I watch is like, you watch it like two or three times before it goes live. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, this is like, gonna be bang yeah, like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, here comes the joke. <laughs> I, I, I killed that joke, I killed that joke. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, no. I'm so happy with what I'm making right now. Yeah, and it yeah, feels yeah. like a whole like, I've just been like unchained, you know what I mean? Yeah, was, yeah. But it's hard and I see a lot of YouTubers and I, I remember cause I used to help out with a lot of comic dubbers who would dub like Undertale comics. I don't know if you yeah. remember that when that was a thing. Oh yeah, of course. Homestuck and comics. All of <laughs> yeah. these people who would dub comics, it was so easy to get hundreds of thousands of views, right? Mm, cause these had yeah. huge fan dubs. They would get to like 200K subs. They would want to start branching out, boom none of the videos would get views. Yeah. yeah, And I was like, I was trying to help them, but a lot of people, when they get one or two videos that do bad or perform poorly, they're immediately put off trying yeah, to yeah, try yeah. anything else. Cause yeah. they're like, it just doesn't do well. It yeah. just doesn't yeah. do well. They don't want to figure out how to make it work. Like, cause it is basically starting from zero. Yeah. There's a little bit of an advantage, right. but you basically do have to kind of get rid of all your old audience and get a new one. It's, it's probably less, Discouraging starting from zero because at least from I think zero, so. there's I, no, there's you, no, you like, have which, nothing to lose. Which, yeah, you know which what is I mean? why, like, my number one piece of advice from the get go is make what you want, don't make what gets views. No, 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 I exactly. Did that and I fucked myself over. Yeah, I'm yeah. lucky because I'm, I think I'm like one of the one out of a hundred, right? Who managed to change yeah, his content you got very, very and, got, well. and get away from it. Because I, I was persistent, yeah. I did not stop. I, yeah. I, I was kind of in a similar situation, right, yeah, not, yeah. not to the extent of you with Black Butler, but I was kind of there when I did a lot of corpse party stuff. Right, yeah, I, yeah, remember yeah. That. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, because I, I originally blew up playing, uh, I think it was Corpse Party 2, which was like the, the new Corpse Party game that just come out. Yeah. Right. It was only in <coughs> Japanese. So I, the first Let's Play, that was the first Let's Play I ever did as well, I remember. It was like, mm -hmm. my, it's like my eighth video or something. Oh my God. Right, and right. it just immediately blew up yeah, because yeah. It you was a corpse party because I didn't yeah, yeah. know how dedicated the corpse party fan base was back then, and it got to the point where I would do corpse party two, it would just get insane amount of views, like way way more than any of my anime content. Right, and then I found a corpse party spin off visual novel, which <laughs> no one also did because it was only in Japanese. Yeah. I did like thirty episodes of that. All the episodes fucking killed it. Yeah, yeah, and it got to the point where any other video I did during that period, I'd say like over 90% of the comments were filled with Corpse Party RPers. Yeah. Oh, really? Just like replying to each other's comments <laughs> That's as, That's as Corpse Party characters. <laughs> and, and, and I looked at that and I was like, okay, I, I shouldn't get stuck in this rabbit hole. This is, this is, this is I, I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get yeah, out of here, dude. Yeah. I gotta get I, the fuck out. I, yeah. I, I, and one thing I, I tell other YouTubers who are like, maybe at like 10 to 50,000 yeah. who are stuck in a content yeah. where they can't get out of it. Yeah. And it's the only content that gets views by doing a certain amount of thing over and over again. Like, mm. you know, like a pet almost, right? Yeah. <laughs> like do the thing you did, but differently slightly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I always tell them like, think of it this way. Like maybe if you changed your videos up entirely, the, the 50,000 subscribers that you're so desperately clinging on to right now could be a million, yeah. right? Like don't worry about the subscribers you have because most of them probably only care about that one thing, right? And if you want to yeah. change, you don't need this. Subscribers people. change all the time. They, they always do, recycle. Yeah. Subscribers don't really mean much in terms of view counts mm. nowadays because it's all about recommended and what- yeah, I mean, yeah, I yeah, mean yeah, look at this channel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, <laughs> exactly. We're, we're at 300K and we're like breaking yeah, over yeah, 500K yeah. every yeah, episode. I'm exactly. like, what, how is that happening? And, and it's like, I you know YouTube used to be able to show you how many people unsub from your channel. They mm. removed it, but it used to show you. And I remember at like 600K, it was like, 
plus 600,000 subscribers minus 80,000. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, you will siphon out people in a good way. Like yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll lose the audience that you don't want and that's okay. Mm, but yeah. it's hard to teach people that because like YouTube's hard. Like, yeah, because every, it's, every it's, ass- it's hard. Sorry, because all, because <laughs> yeah. all they see is that minus 80,000. They think, yeah. oh, I could be at 680,000. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, 600, exactly. Because right. but- like for me, I, I part of the reason I feel like I've been able to be on this platform for so long is that I, I always like try to change my content. It's, it's always like a conscious effort at this mm, point. Same, like same. if I look at my content last year, and I'm making exactly the same content. Like not like I don't feel like you have to do like a big fucking change straight away. But if you like gradually change over the years, it'll it'll be totally fucking different. Cause like, oh, yeah. if you look at my content five years ago, it's totally different from what I do now. But yeah, the, totally. the way you implement that is you do things a little bit at a time. So yeah. how I see it is if I'm doing exactly the same content as I'm doing last year, to me, I failed. And yeah. I've, 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 I've personally failed myself. Like yeah, same, I remember same. last year I was like, it was probably like my best overall year in terms of views on my channel. Mm. And I was actually like, I was really unhappy with my channel. Cause I'm like, this is exactly the same stuff I've been making last year for the, for, mm. for an entire year. And it, it hurt me, it, it, it like yeah. hurt me, but like, I didn't know what I wanted to do next. So it took me like a little bit longer to figure out, okay, I want to try something different in this way and that way. But it's, it's part of the secret of like being able to survive on YouTube for so long. Oh, evolving. It's, oh, yeah. it's like, you have to constantly be looking for that evolution. Yeah. Well, it's that's the like, scariest thing, right? Is that there's nothing scarier than YouTube viewers losing interest in a YouTube channel yeah. than the actual YouTuber yeah. losing interest yeah. in their YouTube channel. Like, yeah. I feel like you've really upped your game in like the past year. Oh no, you have. I like, definitely yeah. have. I mean, I think like late, <laughs> late 2019, like 2019 for me was a weird year because at the beginning of 2019, I was kind of in the same boat where I just kind of looked at my channel. And I thought, oh, this is the same shit I've been doing since I moved to Japan. Yeah, yeah like, Just yeah. like <clears throat> a little bit better editing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I think late 2019 was where I was like, you know what, I'm going to, kind of slow down on the analytical stuff. Like yeah. do way less scripted shit and kind of just do more fun entertainment based stuff. Yeah. I don't have to always be like the big brain boy yeah. of anime. Yeah. Like, I feel like we all rubbed off on each other almost. Oh, I no, think no. so. Yeah. I, I like, think yeah. definitely moving here. I've like seeing how you guys work has <laughs> like given me like a different perspective about how content can be made mm. and like different approaches. Cause I feel like a lot of, a lot of people when they think about making their content better, they're like, okay, like maybe getting better equipment mm. or so maybe- There's definitely a factor of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and there is a factor of that or like some sometimes it's like, oh, I got to increase, uh, make my writing better and mm. you know do this but sometimes it's just what up what if you just try approaching your content in a completely dif- in a completely different way yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean like going back to an attitude where everyone tries to make content to appeal to each other as they they what what i see is content being approached exactly the same way oh, yeah, from like it's, five it's different all, perspectives it's all the same it's just an yeah. iteration upon each other like yeah. they don't they don't do anything different yeah. Yeah. which is which is why it I find it weird about the tier list because yeah, I can definitely see how you might find X contents better. Mm. But to me, it's like, okay, well, you're still like approaching it in the same way. Someone someone might have better editing or better writing or just better idea or more interesting ideas, but it's still kind of like in the same, the same niche. It's I, the same yeah. shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's so the same shit. They, they, yeah. they can, they can, they'll sit here and, and talk about, you know, like I remember like, I don't know which YouTuber it was. They they like, they're like, yeah, his, his clip selection was poor. And I'm like, who the fuck gives a shit about his clip selection? <laughs> who cares about his clip? Who, who watches a video of an anime review and is like, this clip selection is rather disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you, know, you don't think that you're like, if the video is at that point where you're nitpicking that much, I feel like that, you know, uh, the unless content is stale. Yeah, well, yeah unless point. it's that egregious, right? When yeah. the clip selection is that poor, right? It, it shouldn't be a factor. You know, yeah. it's not what, if, when you're talking about anime, picking the right clips doesn't fucking matter. It's what you're talking about. As long as the clip's not in 240p, no one gives a yeah, shit, right? Yeah. I mean, I, which is why like, I, I don't know, like personally, the thing that I've tried to improve the most on is like how comfortable I am on camera. I'm always mm. trying to like up it. Yeah. Like I want to make it feel like it's just like my best friend in the room. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. You know, I've, like, I've, I've, always, <laughs> I've always been trying to figure that out for like the past year or so yeah, yeah. is even with scripted content, how do I make scripted content not look like scripted content? Because a year ago, you could tell if a video of mine was scripted. It yeah, was yeah. very, very obvious. I from, never script from, any. From yeah. the way I presented it and the way I talked. But now recently I've slowly kind of getting to, you know, I've I've put more effort into actually remembering my scripts rather than reading a little bit of it and then using my short term goldfish brain memory <laughs> to be like, recite these words in a natural way, please. <laughs> Dude, I, don't, I don't know how you can like, I did a script recently for the first time and I hated it. Yeah. I, I hated it so much. You get used to it. I hated it at first too. I but. just, I love just being a crackhead, just saying shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> just saying shit, and then we're like, well, all right, we'll, we'll piece it together. We'll figure. I mean, I'm, I'm like completely opposite. Yeah. I, I I need. I, I love. I love making <laughs> a script. Like I, I was that kid. Like it, it's weird because I was that kid who was just sitting in school, and I'd just be sitting in silence, and I just like laugh at myself. I'd just be like. <laughs> Bro. Like, Bro. People thought I was. Bro. People thought better I was. Run, be, better be, run. Be, <laughs> people thought I was like fucking crazy. Right? I would. I would. I would. Yeah. I would. yeah, but like it, it was because like, I just had all these like funny ideas and funny jokes that I couldn't like. <laughs> a Thirteen year old like, like, I'm like, a comical I, I, genius. Like I can't I'm a comical mastermind. There's there's no way I can explain this funny thought or funny joke I have in my head. But like as soon as I started making YouTube videos, I'm like, uh -huh. <laughs> that's 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 a funny thing. Let's 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 make this into a funny meme. And like I can actually visualize all the crazy shit going on in my head. <laughs> I'm not crazy, I swear to God. Out of context, it sounds slightly autistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just a it's just a little well, worrying. It sounds kind of Rain Man. Okay. Yeah, it is a little Rain Man. -y, like <laughs> a little Goodwill Hunting, Com comedy Goodwill Hunting in the, in the classroom. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I don't know though, though because I I started with doing absolutely zero scripts. I would maybe jot yeah. down like bullet points, yeah. but I found myself finding just just running into that situation where I would just be like, uh, uh, like way too much in between while I was trying to think up of something. So in the end a video where I'm trying to convince you that you should think about an anime in this certain way just ended up being this like crackhead ramble that just mm. was not convincing whatsoever. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I, I think I gotta start organizing my shit. So I just, I was just laughing to, I had the exact moment where I was just, <laughs> I was just laughing to myself because I thought of a funny- God joke. damn it, anime zone. I am, I am so it, funny. It, it just happened live on screen now. I'm just like, God fucking damn it. Can we get a repeat um, of that um, as at the moment? You just Cause I wasn't, I, I was like, I wasn't laughing at what you were saying. I just thought of a funny joke. Yeah, you just, you're not funny, Joe. <laughs> fuck fuck you're you. Not funny. I'm sorry, I, I was derailing. What, what were you talking about, Joey? I, I was I was totally <laughs> intently yeah. listening. I'm too in the moment. I I like don't yeah. find things funny if I think about them too much. Yeah, yeah. Unless I do a really good joke, then the next day. I know, like, sometimes you, you, you have that joke where you just like you you just like the more you think about it, the just the funnier it gets. Oh sometimes. yeah, no, I have those jokes, but it doesn't come no. to the point where I'm just sitting there laughing like. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'm funny enough to to make those kind of jokes. Where I'm like, damn, I'm funny. Damn, I'm good. You know. I know. I don't. I don't think like sometimes. I I'm, I don't think like I'm funny enough to like think on my feet a lot of the times, but yeah. you no, know, I'm, I'm that That's type all of- all I do. I, I, can't, <laughs> I, I can't like, like if I think about a joke too much, I hate it. I'm well, like, I'm, I'm that type of guy who's just like spends 30 minutes in the, 30 minutes in the shower, slam dunking people <laughs> with like <laughs> witty remarks that I didn't make when at the exact time. <laughs> you don't know this bro, but I totally <laughs> fucking just destroyed you in my head. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and then everyone clapped yeah, and cheered. It's like, it's like, it's like the ending of Evan how often do you need to do, need to do this, Gart? When you think about this in the shower, are you, are you, are you thinking back to childhood traumas where you're like, oh, no. that guy S said something like, mean. Sydney sometimes wonders why like I take 30 to 40 minutes in the fucking shower on the fucking mm -hmm. toilet. Mm -hmm. And most mm -hmm. of the time it's just me <laughs> okay. thinking about different, like that's my most creative so, zone. It's like right? that meme where it's like, he's, he's probably thinking about other girls. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Gart, kill you, I destroyed you in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, most uh, most of my video ideas come when I'm shitting or in the shower. I don't know why. It's just it's just my special place. It's the it's the zen. It's man. it's, it's the, the zen. zen it's place. the zen mode. I, I, zen I, mode. I don't. I I feel like I'm just on my phone and when I'm shitting. When I'm in the shower, I just yeah, I'm also on my phone. I have a little, <laughs> little thing. I watch YouTube videos. All of my ideas come right before. I'm sure this is common, but it's right before I go to bed. I where, I'm, where I'm just about to drift off to bed. I'm just, I'm like entering that REM state. And then all of a sudden I just wake up. I'm like, I'm gonna that. write that down. <laughs> Have you ever had a like really funny dream or really great dream that you you wake up in the dream. You're like, this will make an amazing video. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then you make notes about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you read it in the morning and you're like, what the fuck was I saying? Oh my God. That's what? like- that I, I have never experienced this. What do you Half mean? Half of my videos come from that. Where, I, where, <laughs> yeah. where I'm drifting off into that REM sleep. And then I wake up, I'm like, this would make a fucking hilarious video. And just half eyed, I write it down on my phone and I go to sleep. Next morning I go to open it up. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is a shit idea. Yeah. I've, like, I've never experienced that in my life. Have you never? I've texted in my sleep and woke up and been like, the fuck did I? But I never had that. No, Cause wow, like I, 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 I've, I've written some like mad gibberish that I, I read on my notes on the next day. I'm like, I remember thinking when I, when I wake up in the stream, this is like a slam dunk idea. This yeah. is like a million dollar idea. And then I wake up and there was like, um, Evangelion, Indian service call. And I'm like, <laughs> what, what the fuck would, what, 
what the Wait, fuck is, is that? that a, is that a real thing? <laughs> is that a real idea? <laughs> I, I remember something like that. And I'm just like, wait, what What was I thinking? <laughs> what, what? This man, this man. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah. So yeah, that's, I, d I don't know. It's that's the crackhead life of a YouTuber. The right? crackhead yeah, life of a YouTuber. Yeah. We don't we don't have to do drugs, is, man. Is YouTube it, is the drug. Is it interesting to you as the audience to hear these weird stories and you know quarrels that we have as YouTubers and in, in everyday life of struggles? Is it interesting? I've to always the wondered that, right? As, yeah. a, as a non YouTuber, is hearing that kind of stuff even interesting? I don't know. I mean, we'll find out with how many views this video has. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope it's uh, interesting to you guys. Let us know if you want to hear more about that. That'd yeah, be, definitely. Nice but in the meantime, let's give a warm shout out to our lovely patrons who are Look at these guys. Us. Look at these guys. These beautiful, beautiful names boys. right yes. now. If How you would like your beautiful name on the screen as well, then make sure to go over to our Patreon where it'll help us fund the show and make hopefully, you know, this show even bigger and better in the future. Mm. Yes. Shout and out to today's sponsors as well. Those guys. <laughs> Those guys. Those guys. We'll just leave it at the shout out. We'll just, we'll shout just leave it at that, right? We'll just leave it at the shout out to sponsors. Just don't. Just yeah, also check out our Twitter and our subreddits. If you want to send us more memes or just Hell tweet yeah. us to say whatever. You if, you'd like to, if you'd like to tweet us your uh, Anituba tier list, then um, <laughs> send it to us. <laughs> if oh I'm, God. Not, I'm not number one. You do, you know oh that God. after this episode, oh God. Every, so many, everyone's going to make a fucking tier list. All those list smaller now. Anitubas just, just <laughs> no, every, every, everyone watching this is just going to be like, okay, tier. Trash taste, tier. F tier. Tier list. Fuck <laughs> these guys. <laughs> The power is that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and so it doesn't matter. It's amazing. Please put me in the S tier at least. <laughs> I kidding. don't care, but I would like to be S tier. Yeah. I do, please. I do. Yeah, guys, if hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in as always. I've been your host, Joey, with my co-hosts, Gant and Connor, as always. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.